It's Wednesday, January 5th, 2022, back in the studio as we close out season two of the show. We're talking the Hawkeye season one finale and Spider-Man No Way Home. This is Mostly Superheroes. Hello and welcome to Mostly Superheroes, a weekly pursuit for the world's best stories with an emphasis on live action superhero stuff. I'm your host, Logan, back here again in the basement. It's 2022. Missed you guys a lot. We got a couple co-hosts with us here to nerd out mostly about the MCU. That's right. We got a lot of fun stuff to talk about. Let's open it up with this guy. You missed him. You love him. He's the giggler. Hey, buddies. Good Andy, here. how are you? I'm so good, man. Merry happy, Christmas. Happy New Year. And Happy New Year. It's been a wild ride. It's been a journey. The last six weeks have been pretty busy, but the I'm world glad to be back here. is happening. Was, Did you miss us? Oh, of course. I missed this place. I missed you guys. Little, little pre pod dinners. Yes. And you had to hold in your thoughts on Spider Man No Way Home for way too long. Right. Yeah, exactly. Are you about to burst? A little bit. <laughs> Something's, something's about to burst. Something's getting ready to. We're very excited here in the studio in the basement, St. Louis. And you know this guy, a recurring co-host back here as we're getting ready to enter our third season. We close out this one. You know him. Scotty Scoop. How you doing? Oh, it's been a hell of a year. Hell of a year. Hell of a year. Did you have a good year? Yeah, it was good. And you're you're feeling good about this year? Uh, yeah, this this year looks great. Do you think of life like that, like where you're like, okay, New Year's resolutions, try to be a little better? Yeah, for sure. Type of thing. You know, uh, you you look at the what's laid out in the year, and you're like, this I can do this. Yes. Let's make it better than last year. Like, what was cool about this past year? Let's do it double. Yeah. Like, do double twice. cool, less bad. Yeah. Is that that's what everybody's trying? Yeah. Twelve episodes of Hawkeye this year. <laughs> yeah. Double it up. <laughs> Can't wait to break this one open with you. Yeah, guys, real life. We are back. We're here. We're opening it up. And uh, yeah, I mean, I'm just going to get out of the way. I had COVID. Man, it happened. I didn't think I would get it. I'm a vaxxed person with the boost. Uh, two days before Christmas, man, it was the news. It was, I don't know if you guys do the home test. Home tests are the big thing. We do it every time before we see the parents and uh, literally walking out the door for like the Christmas activities. Like, we're going to go to the houses. We're driving. Now, this was going to be a trip to Michigan. We got Christmases lined up. All right, none of them. You got COVID? You're staying home? Locked down here at the house? Like I got to say, I miss my family, but we did just fine. I think yeah. as far as COVID scenarios go, me and Carrie got, like, very lucky. Very mild symptoms. Just the good old lockdown, which I guess they've changed now the quarantine rules yeah. again. Yeah. It's a, it's a five-day from symptom countdown. Yeah. There you go. CDC? Five days from yes. symptoms and like 24 hours after your fever goes away. Yeah. And now there's all sorts of like shortage on tests. A lot of the country is getting this. I know personally speaking, it is around. Oh, yeah. It's happening out here. So what we, I guess we're entering in the year three of the pandemic. Yeah. And we'll see how it goes. I hope it gets better. Wow. I don't, get, I don't know. It could get worse. You think it'll get worse? Uh, no, I don't think it could get worse. Yeah, maybe this will be like that herd immunity they were I'd, talking about. Yeah, Who knows? I think, I think we're about there. We're, we're not. We we're, might have. A, we might have another couple weeks, but I think. I think we're almost there. I think we're heading in maybe a better direction. Yeah, please. We'll see. But either way, man, all that to be said, it took us weeks to get in here. We had plans to get in here like right after Christmas. It was yeah. like, hey, I shot you guys a text. We are back, and we've been aching at the bit to talk about some really great stuff. And we have a very special episode for you. Like we said, this is basically our season two finale. You're going to have one more special one after this we'll talk about in coming up. But we want to open up this one just like we always do with you, the fans. Fan mail. We always open the show with fan mail. This is mostly superheroes after all. And we want to hear your voice. We want to get a text message. We want you to reach out on our studio phone at 754-CALL-LOG. At 754-225-5564, put that in your phone. As mostly superheroes, we have two voicemails to feature. That's great news. Later. 
Not yet. <laughs> okay, that makes sense. But you're excited. I have a feeling I might know what they might be about. They're about uh, the meat. Nice. <laughs> Which is later in the yeah. show, obviously. Okay. Can't wait to do it. But first up from the podcast review world, if you listen on Apple Podcasts, you give us a five star. You can do this on Spotify now. Anywhere you're listening, a review and a rating goes a long way. And we had another five star review about the giggler. It comes from Lou G Z Z. Am I saying that right? X I oh, Zai 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 Zai. The review is five stars. Wow, must listen. Love this giggler. Absolutely makes the show. Yeah. Wow, I know it's Zai Zai because I may or may not know this person, but you have recruited ninety percent of our listeners. I uh, think maybe. And Scott is coming in right behind you. You brought in. You brought in how many people? I, I mean, I, so I'm many bringing people. in the callers. You've got the callers. Yeah. You've got the reviewers, the people online. So you know this person. Oh yeah. And we don't want to give out the real name, but we'll just say Lou G. Oh yeah, that's fair. Appreciate the love. He, I, I I love Lou. He's a great guy. Hell yeah. Just paid him some money today for a fantasy football. So for a review. For a review. <laughs> yeah, no, <laughs> no, no, clearly. No, I, I, pr- <laughs> I don't want to say we're not I above paying not, people for five star reviews. I mean, if you, we can work this out. <laughs> Reach out to us. Let us know. No, Apple Podcasts, Spotify this. They just announced a new feature. You can rate the podcast now. So get into podcast world if you're wanting or YouTube, wherever you're watching us, give us those ratings. And Lou G, appreciate the love for the giggler. I, I agree. You do make the show. Oh, thank you. Will you make it? I do actually make it. Like I'm the one that <laughs> physically gets on the computer and yeah. makes it. But you, you make you it. should reply to that yeah, and, and definitely correct Lou G. <laughs> yeah. Hey Lou G, if you're listening, maybe you think about who actually <laughs> makes the show physically. No, uh, we appreciate hey, the love, man. He'll know soon a lot soon enough because I turned him into a listener. That's that's what most important thing is there. That's right. Growing the fan base. I love it. Um, and speaking of the fan base, we're all over the place. Apple, Spotify, Podbean, YouTube, Patreon, Good Pod, Stitcher, Bullhorn. There are so many channels and we're out there on all of them just look at most of the superheroes online you're most likely to find us coming from instagram we're on all the socials you guys know one of the biggest fans of the show james gunn of course hey james hey james of course he's paying attention this guy has liked many of our tweets our instagram he's replied to us directly and this time guys he actually featured our comment on a post promoting Peacemaker on HBO Max. He not only liked our post, he pinned it and said, everyone, look at this. Nice. That's like... That's big time. Like a mega like. That's like saying, I agree with this. Everyone look at it. I'm James Gunn. I'm St. Louis. I made Guardians of the Galaxy and the Suicide Squad. I'm awesome. Most of Superheroes is awesome. So thanks, James. Agreed. You can see this post. It's promoting a new character, Amelia Harcourt, which is pretty close to Amelia Earhart. Yeah, very close. The pilot? Didn't she do the St. Louis plane? Spirit of St. Louis? Wasn't that her? No. (laughs) Wasn't she the pilot? No, she's Charles Lindbergh. Amelia Earhart Charles Lindbergh, I do believe, was the Spirit of St. Louis. She's the one that disappeared. Oh, man. Okay. I guess I got to study up on my aviation yeah. history. Um, but this is the post, man. He's talking about this Amelia Har- Harcourt character, Peacemaker. It's January 5th today when we're recording. When is this coming out? January 9th? Thir- uh, 13th. 13th. Yeah. I don't know why I had the 9th in my head. So 13th. Thursday. That's a Thursday. And we're getting a few episodes, I think. Didn't James say something um, about maybe I believe getting a- I saw the- Maybe he, two. He's quoted on Twitter, and I think he said at first three. Two or three mm. are coming out, and then it'll be week by week. H- HBO's been doing that, dropping a couple Which, episodes. Yeah. We remember the Titans. <laughs> <laughs> so we remember? will, I think we'll do either half of Peacemaker or just let it all. It's seven, I think. Okay. Seven total episodes. Are you guys still excited for this, Scotty Scoop? Uh, yeah, I'm in. You're in for this. Um, I've read some early reviews and they, they seem to be good. Do you know the source material on this guy? No. It's like not familiar. Nothing at all. This is just a new face that- to you, just like it is, I think, to me and to you, Andy, yeah. right? Oh, yeah. Totally intro- introduced him in Suicide Squad. First I've ever even heard of him. And now we got a show. Yeah. Every episode directed by James Gunn himself. All right, cool. That's a recipe for success. Yeah. And John Cena. Well, that's, and, that's just the cherry on top. Yeah. And with the big news that came out with Morbius, we're switching universes, Ugh. getting a big delay from the end of this month in January to April. I was like, what are we going to have? Oh, we got some Peacemaker to get through yeah. in January and February. So we'll have some, some good meat to talk about. All right. Thank you, James Gunn. Appreciate the feature. Really, really appreciate it. Uh, man, I hope one day maybe we get even more of James Gunn on the show. Yeah, for sure. Like, who knows? This is St. Louis right we, here. We should just have a James Gunn episode. Oh, man. He might he might give us a shout out or something for that. Like, oh, I'm yeah. telling you, he knows 
the brand. He's seen us across the channels. He's, I don't know, if, a friend might be a little strong, but we're getting <laughs> close. Best friend? I mean, yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, more James Gunn coming on the show, as always. And with that, folks, we are ready to get into some superhero stuff. Let's get talk about the MCU right now. What you watching? What you watching? This is what, what we're watching, what we're reading, what we're doing out in the real world. And this week, we are making the sacrifice. We got a lot to talk about. Two big features and a lot to talk about in coming up. We have some exciting announcements all around season three in this year. So because of that, we're getting right into the superhero talk. Let's do it. Set it up. MCU Town. This is the 31st title, the fifth show of 2021 on Disney Plus coming out of Marvel Studios. It's called Hawkeye. You may remember we talked about this one a few weeks back. We talked about episodes one through four. We're here to close the loop and talk about the last two episodes of this series, how it wraps up right around Christmas time. Can't wait to break it down this MCU series, especially with our boy Scotty, who said on our last episode, it was your favorite MCU show. Actually, your favorite yeah. show on Disney Plus, period. Yep, 100%. Still, still true after the finale? Yes. Yes. Wow. Wow. Yes, yes. Let's not even mess around. Let's gut check this thing. How did you feel when you got through these last two episodes, mainly the finale? Um, I think it delivered. It delivered on exactly what I personally wanted and I, I think it rounded out the show up perfectly. Felt good. Felt real good. Can't wait to hear about the story. Get a rating from you, Giggler. Gut check for you. When those credits ran and the show ended, how was your feeling? Uh, reflecting on Hawkeye. 100%. I agree. I definitely, Hawkeye was not one of my favorites like going into this season, but this definitely upped his game a little bit. I'm excited for his kind of future in the MCU or however long that may be. Sure. I'm with you. And I got to say, uh, I'm probably a little bit less enthusiastic about you than you guys. I had a great time. I enjoyed the show. Um, I thought that I don't know if I was expecting more things to happen than the finale. So then it becomes like it feels like a letdown because I wanted to see certain things. The show itself was fun, action packed. Can we talk about some of the characters that we're going to see featured in this show? But as always, when we work through it and we give our ratings, it's always cool to see where we land. Yeah. All right, let's do it. Season four. I'm sorry. Season one, episodes one through four. Where do we wrap up very uh, quickly? Very, very quickly. Uh Hawkeye, Clint Barton, and Kate are still trying to solve all the things that are happening in New York at this time. Let's just, just recap ourselves. Two years since the events of Endgame. This is the furthest show out. This is in really the future. This is by far the most furthest out MCU project. Clint Barton's in New York trying to get back to his family. Ronan, Ronan suit shows back up. Gets Haley uh, Atwell as Kate Bishop. Steinfeld. Steinfeld. Haley Steinfeld. What'd I say? At well, well. she's it? Peggy Carter. Peggy yeah. Carter. Um, That'd Stein, be wild. That would be a wild, wild show. That might be a what if. What, what if <laughs> Peggy Carter was Hawkeye? <laughs> Just give her a bow and arrow. It's yeah. the same show. Um, and it left off at the end. We had a big cliffhanger at the end of episode four. Scotty, um, you might remember, Yelena shows up. Shows up, yeah, on the rooftop. She's black widowed out. She's like, I'm here to hear. I'm here here to kill Clint. That's where it is. Clint tells Kate, "You're out. Yeah, too much. Get out of here." Get on out of here. Yep. Drop us in episode five title. Ronan came in at 45 minutes. Reads from Disney Plus. The fallout nearly derails their partnership, but Kate makes a discovery that changes everything. So setting up the episode a little bit, this is where Kate is kind of sidelined for a moment. Um, and then, you know, she's figuring out more about her mom, trying to figure out uh, what kind of role her mom is playing in this uh, this crime world. There's her stepdad. What's his name? The swordsman. Yes. And his, what's the character's name? Uh, Jack. He had uh, taken like a fall for somebody. He got arrested, I believe. Yeah. In the episode, episode four. So she's kind of talking. Uh, no, no. They were just talking about it in episode four. Oh, right. Because this is the beginning where she yeah. says like, hey, mom, your guy is involved with mm. a lot of the stuff that's been going on with all this yeah, crime. Yeah, very shady. Very shady. Um, Clint is like, I got to figure out if I'm going to have to fight off against a Black Widow. Yeah. Goes off on his own, talks to his wife. Loops her in, says, like, this isn't going so hot. And it all leads inevitably to a discussion between Kate and Yelena at Kate Bishop's apartment. So this oh, is yeah. like these two characters 
in the room, meeting each other, having an open dialogue. And this is the first time you really get to see not only these two characters interacting together, um, but like these two actors really showcasing like what they got and yeah. what they're doing. I thought I thought Yelena fit right in that was from the get go. Great scene. Yeah. How'd you feel about the entrance in her episode there in episode uh, five? Because this um, is the one that opens up right with the cold open. Oh, man. Right. Uh, I think one of the most important parts of the the series. Right. We got to see from a blipped person's point of view what happened. Yes. How yeah. did this how was what was the experience? Right. And she's like in the they had gone there to save a widow. It's not what they think. She's right. fine. She goes Yelena goes to the bathroom and you see it. You see the snap take her yeah. her come back together. And the, the room like the changes. Room's changing. It's you know the paint's different. She came back exactly where she was. Yes. Uh yeah, that was creepy. And that was uh 2018, right? This yeah. is like putting it right after the events of Black Widow, right? Timeline wise yeah. for this cold open. And then yeah, because they... she she was still talking about Black Widow, uh, Natasha. Yep. You know she was still alive. Somebody asked like, "How's she doing?" Mm-hmm. She says she's doing great because right. she just saw her. You know, she's like, "Oh, she's doing fantastic," but she's on the run at this point after yeah. Civil War. Um, and this inevitably brings, uh, uh, I mean, what they don't really talk too much in the series, even like getting like further with Yelena's story, is, you know, we met Yelena uh, in Black Widow, and then that in credit scene, we had the Valentina, Julianne Dreyfus character, mm. who was the one that said like, hey, this guy killed your uh, sister. But I went back and watched that. We watched Black Widow, actually, just last week. And... um. I actually caught this time around that she actually does say like your next assignment. Mm -hmm. So essentially Yelena, I guess Val is like in hand with like the black widows. Yeah. Oh, this, this widow that they went to save. Yeah. I think must have already been working for her Uh huh. and, or, or taking out contracts in in that loop in some way, shape or form. Because when she came back from the blip, Mm -hmm. they, she talked about, Hey, you know, I can I can get you some money real quick. Yeah, and I get you, oh yeah, I got yeah. work for you. Yeah, we got contracts. That's yeah. See, that's what I was trying. That's that was the part I was getting hung up on. I was like, who is she working for? But you're, I, I totally they brought that into the show too. Yeah. Um. Okay, so we get the Yelena backstory. She's in. She meets Kate. She's like, I'm here to kill Clint. Kate's like, Why? Like this is aren't like your your sister and Clint are best friends. Yeah. Can't really figure it out. Um, is going to follow through with it. But Yelena does Kate a solid and kind of brings some knowledge to uh, Kate and Clint, who eventually reconcile in this episode. Kate decides, I'm not sitting now. I don't, don't remember exactly right. what pushes her over the edge. But essentially, uh, she's, she's, just, like, she's tired of sitting around. Yeah, yeah. She's sitting in her bedroom. She's like, I gotta, like if I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this. I'm makes not, the call. Makes yeah. the call. Let's get back together. Clint, in this episode, he's having some heart-to-heart stuff. He goes downtown. We get the statue of this is where the Avengers first assembled in 2012 mm-hmm. has a little dialogue with, uh, with Scarlett Johansson, uh, yeah. Natasha Romanoff. Yeah. He's like, Hey, listen, I, we made, I made the sacrifice. You made the sacrifice, but I still have some shit to do. And I'm sorry for what I'm about to do. And what's right. he do? He puts the Ronin suit back on episodes called Ronin. And he decides to go after echo, the leader of the tracksuit tracksuit gang. Yeah. Tracksuit mafia. Tracksuit mafia. And he's like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go after. Her. I'm gonna set her straight. Yeah. Kills a lot of guys. It takes them out. Takes them out. Yeah. It takes them out. He's not but, really killing them. No, I he's, think it's very non-lethal. He's like, I'm, I'll just knock you guys out. He's, he's not Falcon and Falcon and the Winter Soldier, where they, I think they pretty much straight up murdered some people in that show. <laughs> They're just murdering people that they bust into a room, murder everyone. Yeah. This wasn't that. This was like, take them out, get a face to face with Echo. They have a good fight scene back and forth. The whole thing is, Ronan, you killed my dad. Why did you do this? And he, after Ronan, aka Clint, gets all the tracksuit mafia taken care of. Finally has a moment. He knows sign language and he's telling Echo, your boss is the one that killed your dad. Yeah. He, I hired me. Yeah. I was just, hi- I was hired to do uh, this. Yeah. He had gotten some information. This like, wasn't a. Someone gave me this information of what needed to be done and, and when, where and, and when. Yep. And I like, I was told, like, I was like, you know, I'll do this because it's a job. Yeah. Someone was informing on you. Maybe remember back and. Who's still alive? That should have been there. And who is it? It's her number two. She figures it out. Kazi. Kazi. Yeah. Why weren't you at the meeting that night? She yeah. says. 
And he's like, what are you talking about? She figures it out. We still don't know at this moment who the big boss is quite, quite yet. But we do in just a few moments. Yes. Kate and Clint get back together. They're back at the house. They're sitting down. They're planning, like, what's going on? I got to figure out what's happening with my mom. All right, you got Echo taken care of. We still got a Black Widow out for Clint. What are we going to do? Oh, here's the Black Widow now. Yelena texts Kate a photo with her mom in a meeting with the big guy. You want to say mm -hmm. it? Kingpin. 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 Been waiting for that forever. And not just Kingpin. The Kingpin character played by Vincent D'Onofrio. Nice there job, go. Yeah, man. Better than what I was going to do. I was going to be like, Vin Sebasio. <laughs> What's it? What is it again? Vincent D'Onofrio. From the Daredevil series. I was, I was so ready to be let down on, at this episode. Yeah. It's like, man. If they don't break, do it they, now. They, they're not going to do it. There's no way they're going to do it. And then they show that photo, and I, I lost it. What was your, what were you thinking? I lost it. I was... <laughs> I was sitting in my truck um, that morning at work, just waiting to waiting to go into the office, and I'm watching the episode. I leave early so I can catch it. <laughs> yes. Early morning. Yes. And I, I, if anybody was outside, they would have been able to hear me. I, you were I screaming. I screamed. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You were just pumped up, ready yeah, to go. I was, I was pumped. Like, and you saw, you could even tell from the photo, like, that, oh, yeah. That's him. Grainy, you know. Weird phone. Yeah. Like, bl like Blackberry 2006. The oldest, photo. worst yeah. phone. Yep. <laughs> uh, Andy, what were you thinking whenever you saw that character pop up? I'm so pumped. Yeah. Just like, okay, they're doing it. Yeah. Okay. I guess I'll watch Daredevil again. And Already. guess what? Yeah. That's what me and Carrie did. We just started Daredevil. Same, nice. Same. Like, right after that. I mean, yeah, and then you see that character, you're like, oh, my God. And this is, man, I guess, like, I don't know if you guys, I guess, spoiler alert, I guess, for, like, those Daredevil shows. But, like, this is, it's, like, the question, it seems like it is, like, the same one, just, like, years past. Yeah. He's got the Kang. He's a, a Kang. He's got a lot bigger. Mm -hmm. He's, like, a different style of clothing. He's wearing that, like, crazy. Like, Hawaiian shirt, a white, yeah. white suit. Yeah. And we, oh, my God. Oh, yeah, well, I'm, we're jumping ahead. But we find out at the end of episode five, like, we got him. He's in. Well, um, let's see. I believe he said that it's the same. The actor, Vincent D'Onofrio. De... No, Good job. Yeah, for you. He, uh, he said that it was the same guy, and I was wondering. He like publicly announced it. I was wondering if that was something that Feige would be good with him saying or not, or if he was just mistaken. You, you never know. What yeah, what's, about we things. never got any pushback. Yeah. You know, or, you know, clarification or, you know. And how Not much so. CBD? And was, how much does it matter? Just right. Long, yeah, I'm just. It's just I don't care. He's there. It's like for us that are the super fans, we're the ones that are just like, well, hold on though. Do I need to put these? Do I need to watch these shows again? Right. And we're and like they're, they've already yeah. put together these lists of like where these shows can fit in the MCU. I'm like, am I gonna start playing this crazy game? Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, but either way, glad to see him back. Looks. Uh, we'll talk about episode six in a minute. But that's how episode five ends. Is like, all right, this is the big bad. Boom. Yeah. Great. Great episode. Great episode. Yeah, just a great episode five. You have that little lull in the beginning and then just like bing, bang, yeah. you know, big stuff at the end. All right, episode six, big finale, right? What I forget what day. It was right. It's December like 20. Uh, it had to be like Christmas Eve. Yeah, it was. Almost, it, I, I think. Christmas Eve was Thursday. So yeah, it was the Wednesday yeah. before, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Right there on Christmas. It's called So This Is Christmas. 62 minutes, by far the longest episode. Yeah, uh, for any show. For any show, yeah, for any, yeah, for, yeah, for real. Like the, I mean, the last one was forty-five. Mm -hmm. Jumped up to sixty. Uh, Clinton, Kate, part Kate's partnership is tested as they face the consequences of exposing the conspiracy. Scotty, help me out with this episode. But essentially, we find out Kate's mom's bad. Yeah, um, and, and Kate's I do like, believe at the with... end, the end of the episode five was when Jack got arrested. Yes, and. She she totally pushed everything off on him. Yes, and yeah, um, it, it's obvious now. She she met with the kingpin. Yep, and she got. Uh, well, we get this meeting like right away, right? Yeah, it's like one. Of, it's like the first thing we get. I feel yeah. like is kingpin, kingpin, and her, and her, and she's saying essentially, I've been I'm, doing this. I'm for, out. I've been yeah. doing this for you a long time. My daughter's now on the line. I'm out. Mm -hmm. And Kingpin's like, you think you can just quit? Oh, yeah. It's like, it's, it's a gang. Yeah. Like, you're in a gang. 
Like you don't just get to be like, there's I'm, no I'm leaving. Out. She's there's, like, oh, well, I got all kinds of records and documents. I'm out if something happens to me. So she leaves. She's like, storms out. Kingpin's like, okay, the nerve on this lady. Mm. Ends up talking with is number two and does come face to face next with Echo. So this is where we get the big face down uh, uh, with Kingpin, Echo, and Echo looking at him and the number two. What's his name again? Kazi. Kazi. And she's basically just saying, I understand. Like, well, first off, it's like they don't know that she knows. They right. just assume. Yeah. And she plays it cool. And she's yeah. like, I'm going to take, oh, yeah. take a couple days off. Right. Um, and whatever. I'll leave this be. But it's not where it falls. It's, it's like, I know that I know they end up in the middle at the end of the episode. Forget what happens in between, though, because I'm like, does Echo have any more storyline in this finale? I, not I really, think it right? pretty clo- it closes up right there. Yeah. And, it, until the end. Until the end. It's like, okay, cut ties with Kingpin for a minute. We'll mm-hmm. check back in with that at the end. Um, and Clint decides he's going to help out Kate with protecting, essentially, her mom. Because mm-hmm. he says, listen, if your mom, because they saw the video, they got to see the whole video of Kingpin talking. He says, listen, this guy is not going to let it go. I'll stick around. What's your mom up to? She's got another gala. Yeah. She's got another party. So she's got to go to this party, and the whole plan is, all right, let's call back our friends from- Our LARPing buddies. Our LARPing buddies, and get those suits we were promised. Yep. And let's make some new trick arrows. Whole bunch of them. Yeah. Tons of like just fun trick arrows. Yeah, they, well, they got them all, all back from Impound. Yes. And then they made some more. And they made some more. Yeah. Just, just making them. Fun scene. Um, trying to skip any big stuff. Scott, feel free to jump in as you think of the storyline for this big finale. Uh, I think that's about where stuff started to go down. Yeah, it's like this is where you get like you get a lot of action in this episode. Yeah. Oh. Um, where uh, Clint is standing in the window with someone sees the laser. Yep. From the uh, Kazi I, yep. sniper across the uh, across the street, in another building, uh, and that's when that's when it pops off. Yep, it's time you know, to go. It's, it's like time to go. Get the arrows hits out. The fan. And he Clint gets like stuck in that Christmas tree. He like falls out the window. <laughs> Yelena is chasing uh Kate just through the through building. Through the building. Yes. To but, try and figure out where Clint is. And they're just like messing with each other the yeah. whole time. Like, oh yeah. Like, a lot of Kate and Yelena Hilarious. going back and forth. Like, they, Stay out of my way. They get in the elevator together. You know, Kate Kate jumps in at the last second, <laughs> hits all the buttons. Great back and forth. Great back and forth. Uh, Kate takes down the tree with an arrow, like the whole park. Like, yeah, Clint, Clint comes out and lands in the tree. He doesn't know how to get an Avenger. He doesn't know how to get out of a tree. Yeah, he's like, I'm stuck <laughs> in a tree. I was like, you're jumping off buildings. Like, right. You can figure this out. Those arrows were one of the best parts of the season, though, for sure. But yeah, yeah, well, I mean, well, let's go through the arrows. They're on the ice. They're in the middle of this ice rink. I'll say there's not really many people around. Other no. than the people that are involved in the battle, which yeah. is Kate and Clint. And seemingly Yelena. an endless sea of bros. Just <laughs> as many. They just keep coming there are like so Ultrons. Many... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're just Ultron uh, versions of the uh, tracksuit jump gang or whatever. Mafia. <laughs> but mafia. I can't. Like, it's always like three <laughs> words that I can't just quite put together. But yeah, just unlimited bodies. Like some of the arrows you get. I oh, I, I was calling that Pim. I was like, there's something's about to get real small. Oh, yeah. Something's about to shrink. Mm-hmm. But before you get there, you get, I forget what else. Just like get. lightning the, arrows. Yeah, electric barrier, and, like all kinds of stuff. Yeah, like more smoke. And I feel like they smoke and goo are usually the good yeah. go-to. But then they do have another Pim arrow. Hit that truck with the, the truck two guys. <laughs> and they pick up the truck. He's like, oh, he goes off to call Scott about this. Right. Ant-Man, you know, figure out what to do with them. Yeah. But before he can. The owl from the tree. The owl from the tree scoops that, that Clint up had people. a moment with. Yeah, scoops him up and flies away. Where are those guys? You, you can hear him down there. <laughs> do you think we're gonna? Do you think we'll see those guys again? No, those. Guys yeah, we. Dead. Oh, we'll see it. Something will happen. There'll be like a little thing, like in a corner, Pro- probably. I don't know. That's an a tough Easter one. egg somewhere. They might, they might be dead. Well, you'll, I mean, they, you'll see the little truck on somebody's dresser or something. Yeah, right. Exactly. I was thinking the same thing. They got to be dead. Get their own show. Yeah. Um, Adventures of the Tiny Tracksuit Mafia. Tiny bros. So Kate is trying to save her mom. Her mom is like bad to the end. But, oh, yeah. She's, we can't find her. She's gone. Jack shows up out of nowhere. Out of nowhere. He's, he's here to help. He's back and he's he's a good guy. He's like, I'm here to... And he does. He fights yeah, off people. He's fighting off the bros yep. with his sword. 
Yep. Um, as the mom's trying to just get Kate to come and go with her, who shows back up? Kingpin. Kingpin. Here we go. He and he takes on. He starts taking on Kate on the street. Yeah. Like they're fighting. I'm like, oh wow, she's taking on Kingpin. What's the mom do? Runs Kingpin through a building. Yeah, with a into car. a building. It's like brutal. And he's massive, right? Like he's just this massive, crazy big character. That's the one part that's extremely different from the Daredevil show. Is like, and Daredevil, he's like you know walking around museums, just kind of mm-hmm. like a, a big guy. This is like comically large, yeah. so big, goes through, and is like untouchable. It doesn't really get hurt. Ever. Oh yeah, this oh, yeah. she he's just wiping the floor with Kate. Is he is he like a meta? Real is he like an enhanced Man, person? I think he's just he's just big, Jack, and strong. yeah, just big strong guy. Kate's using the trick arrow and more electric arrows, fighting yeah. him hand to hand, getting knocked on her ass over and over until she finally. Um, he he takes all of her arrows and snaps them all in half and throws them on the ground. Yes, and uh, a call back to episode five, where she learned how to snap the coins. Yes, um, she grabs grabs a coin and snaps one at the head of an arrow and they all just chain react and just explode and blow him back into the wall blows him like straight up and yeah. you're like he might not actually he might not come back from right this one. oh yeah he's dead for sure but he's not but he's not he just <laughs> yeah. uh mom goes to jail yeah like uh, look at her guilt look. trip and kate for sure like yeah this is what avengers do arrest their mothers arrest on christmas their mo- just like, really being wow. like, I guess like, I guess go like a Karen almost like yeah. the stereotypical Karen of just like not even understanding what you did wrong at right. all. You're you're, <laughs> you're a criminal. You killed Armand. Her Kate's looking at her, going like, "Just go to jail, mom." Yeah, go to jail. Bye, mom. Bye. So Kate gets her big hero moment. Um, uh, we had um after a little after the fight, um, when Kate goes after her mom, we have Yelena show up on the ice to have her moment with Clint. Yes. Uh, oh, duh. Yeah. Wipes the floor with him. Yeah. Basically. Just kicks his ass. Yeah. Just he's he's ready to die. But he's basically. And he's also like not fighting her back. Oh, yeah. And he's, he's trying he's to talk not, to her a yeah. little bit as he's going. He's like, I, I don't want to hurt you. And she's just beating him up. And he's like, yeah, beat me up. And beats and gets him. Starts beating him real bad. Yeah. Be, beating him real bad. Oh, there's no end in sight. And he's already said all he can say. Like, I did try. She says, you should have tried harder. All right. of us that know what we're talking about from Endgame here are going like, you weren't yeah. there. And what's he do to get her? The whistle. It's pretty close. I don't know what it was. Something like that. It's impressive. And then I like, and I like, I half, I heard it and I was like, oh, I got kind of really yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know, <laughs> and I was like, oh, I could, yeah, okay. And right. then when I saw Black Widow last week, I was like, oh, oh okay, yeah, yeah, for sure. That's the oh, the whistle, the whistle. <laughs> it's the same thing they do with the vests and stuff. Yeah. Like they get like they connect the movies with right. these like little things. But you know, it works. It yeah. helps you. Um, but this gets her in the end. Yeah, and this is where she's like, she breaks down, and it's yeah. How did you know that? Yes. Like he was like she was my best friend, right? Like, like we were homies. I tried to tell you. Like I wish I had a video from Vormir, right? To like show you what went down, right? Avengers body cams. Yeah, right. That's why Avengers need body cams. <laughs> well, she could go watch. Is that that part is probably not in Rogers the musical? I don't know. Rogers the musical. No. <laughs> we'll get there later. We'll get. Th- yeah, we will. And I can't we're wait to see it myself. There. Um. Okay. So then, Kingpin vanished, but we're not done with him yet. We do get. Well, I, this isn't the very end. This is uh, Kingpin and Echo. Yeah. Echo finds him. Kingpin, he's stumbling down an alleyway. Yep. To, you know, just trying to get out of there. Here's Echo. Didn't die from the giant explosion. He's fine. Yeah. He's like really fine. He's right. like, he's just he's got kinda, a little limp. A little tired. Shake it off. Going to be sore in the morning. She comes out and he gives him a speech about, you know, we're family or whatever. Right. And she puts the gun right to his face. The camera goes camera up. Camera pans up. You see the. Muzzle flash. Bang. Is he dead? No. Yeah, right. No way he's dead. Yeah, there's no way. You don't bring back a character like the Kingpin to have in one episode. Just, uh, yeah, a single. To kill him. A one episode. Sure, you're so right, too. It's just the one episode. Yeah, there's no way. He'll he'll be back. Oh, he'll be back. You got to see him fight Spider-Man. Maybe he'll have an eye patch or something. Well, maybe we'll see him in Echo. Oh, we're definitely going to oh, yeah. see him in Echo. Right, we have to. Yeah, At least be... a flashback or yeah. something. I think I feel like Echo should just be subtitled like Daredevil next season. Maybe. 
hopefully. Good. I could see yeah. I could see that happening. Be a lot of Daredevil in there. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. I think I think we'll get some Daredevil. I think we might get some Daredevil too. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Who knows? Coming up. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we'll talk about it in the meat. The meat. Who knows? We'll see. I can try to, tell, you know, we got to watch it. Um, all right. So Hawkeye decides, okay, Kingpin might be whatever. Echo's on the run or doing her thing, just living her life. Hawkeye, Clint, they win, essentially. They win, yeah. And the, he says, the day is over. Come home with we, me. We got, I'm going home. And you can come. Yeah. And the dog. And the dog. Both you and the dog can come. Yep. And I was like, if I'm Clint's wife, I'd be like, yeah. He's gonna bring this. Did you just bring a twenty year old? Just bring girl? a twenty three year old. And she lives here now. <laughs> and this, this is the girl you've been hanging out with yeah. during Christmas for the last couple of days. This is the big emergency. Right. It looks like she could be a pop star or something. <laughs> <laughs> and she, well, and then at Christmas, like when they're doing the gifts, he's like, "Hey, come here. I want to talk to you about something." And his daughter's like, "Whoa, what about yeah. me?" Yeah. I was like, you Clint, just got here. Like, didn't you guys just <laughs> hang out the whole week? <laughs> um, and what's going to happen? I mean, it's like, we don't know. That's the big mystery is like, they're just like together then. Yeah. At the end. And they, they burn the, uh, the Ronin, burn suit. the Ronin suit and the barbecue pit. And it's all up in the air. You know, I thought we would have gotten some sort of def- definitive retirement plan. But no. <laughs> No, it's like we're still but, figuring this out. Yeah, we got we got season two. I think it's already been confirmed. No, no, I'm just saying. Oh, gotta, it's, it's, gotta they be, left yeah. it so open ended. There's got to be. Oh yeah, and she's got to be coming back for right. season two. Oh yeah. Anything else? Oh, and then I mean, well, anything else in the story? The end credit scene. No, I mean, that's it. We come to the end credit scene, which is I I can do this all day. Rod- Rogers the musical. Rogers the, the musical. Full, the full number. Yeah, you got like the full main number oh, beginning God. to end. I had a great time with it. I forgot there was a credit scene because I blocked that whole thing out of my memory. Wow. Oh, I don't know. I don't like musicals at all. Harsh. Oh, man. I thought this one got you pumped up for musicals, though. No, it didn't. I, I tried. I watched like, the, I <laughs> watched, was, like a minute. That was and a I was lie. like, it not did. even this can pull me in. It's <laughs> I'm, I'm a lost cause. That's great. Um, all right. Well, that's the story. Yeah, man, uh, great for my end. Uh, great story, a lot of fun. Hawkeye, I'm in for the new Hawkeye. I want to see more Kate Bishop. I can't wait to see her interacting with more Avengers, Avengers over the years. How will she mix into other storylines? What will happen to Clint? I want to see more Kingpin. I had a good time. Uh, Giggler, let's go with you next because I'm going to save our most excited guy for last. What do you think oh, yeah. of Hawkeye season one? Good call. Um, yeah, definitely not my favorite of the MCU show so far, um, and that's just just based solely on Haw- Hawkeye's never been just does, doesn't do it for me it's versus other other options that we have on this uh show a, a slate of shows in the on the horizon and in the past but um and yeah kate bishop i definitely like you said i like i like to see her in, in more movies maybe a, maybe a season two of this um i thought it at first i thought the christmas theme would be kind of lame but i actually really liked it now in in hindsight um do you think you'd like it in the summer we'll see We'll find out. I we'll definitely win. need to rewatch this. I did. I didn't watch it as like intently as I had for other shows because we didn't. We weren't going week to week for recording, so it was kind of like, yep. I kind of was like, oh, I'll rewatch it, and I just never got around to it. But sure, go for a uh, three out of four. I think three out of four. Point. Yeah, and I didn't give my rating. I'll go and get out of the way too. Yeah, I'll give it a solid uh, three out of four as well. All right, screw those ratings. Scotty Scoop, tell amateurs. us what you thought yeah. of this Yeah, you're all show. amateurs I'm not even trash. Tell us about Hawkeye, dude. Just oh, this man. is your time. I loved the show. Uh, <laughs> like I said, my favorite, definitely hands down favorite show um, on Disney Plus so far. Wow. Um, great. Um, I, and I'm going to, you guys might be floored by this. If they were to edit this season together into one movie. Yep. This would make my top ten. Hawkeye the movie. Wow. Yeah. yeah, you would, yeah, for sure. Wow. hundred um, percent. three point eight. Woo! Coming in hot. I mean. I loved it. You loved it. Loved it. You're here for it. You want more of the, it. The the setting, the characters, you like the, the style. story, the style, the artwork. Yep. Everything. Yeah. Give it give me more. You're you're pretty impressed with how they took that source material, brought it into a oh, live yeah. action show. Yeah. They did it's, a good job. Uh, man, I couldn't believe it. Um, what was going on with that watch? 
Oh, here we go. Yeah, the watch. So um, she finally gets the watch back. Uh, his wife. Clint, Clint's got the, the watch, gives it to Laura, his wife. Yes. Um, turns it to the back. Shield logo. She's a shield agent. Number 19. What does that mean? Mockingbird. Oh, this is a Mockingbird character. Is uh um she was in Agents of Shield. Yeah. Oh man. Okay. Blonde, so blonde this girl? yeah, this this is probably uh they're gonna turn this into a, a title. Oh wow. You know, something that can be passed on, I imagine, oh. from agent to agent, almost kind of like a 007. Or, oh you know, Hawkeye and another Hawkeye. Um, yeah. And this is a tease for like maybe she, something to come. She she seems to have been Mockingbird at some point. Uh, Shield agent, yeah. You think we're gonna see more of her, that Laura and that that actor playing? The, uh, I forget her name, but she's I, in. All I hope sorts. so. Yeah. Like maybe, like probably so. I mean, yeah. she, like they really seem to plant some seeds there. I think so. I mean, you don't just throw that out for nothing. Yeah. This yeah. is the MCU. Yeah. Oh yeah. There are no dead ends. It, that one watch could be three movies, four shows. Yep. <laughs> Um, and they did leave it pretty much open ended. They're all just hanging out at the Hawkeye yeah. house. We don't know where they're gonna go from here. Right. This might be like a little Hawkeye team. Right. Yeah. All right. Any final thoughts, man? You're happy with what they did? Uh, any Super things happy. you want to fanboy out about this one that you really liked about it? What was your favorite aspect of the show? There, there were a lot of uh, scenes that they filmed um, that were just direct cuts from the comic book, and you could you could tell um, specifically when they had that car chase. And the the really nice car that they didn't steal, mm -hmm. uh, you know that some of the cinematics straight rip straight from the comic books, mm -hmm. and then you know it it hits you right in the nostalgic feels. I'm just like man, I remember reading that like 15 years ago. Crazy, yeah. And here we are, yeah. And here we are. They did it. They did it. They're doing it all. Their foot's on the gas. They're not going anywhere. That was the 31st MCU title. A TV show in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and it's all happening at mostly superheroes.com forward slash MCU. Can we talk about this one again? Hope we see more of Hawkeye one day. I'm sure that we will, and we'll see definitely some more of the new Hawkeye. It's probably all about. Oh, yeah. All right, we're going to take a quick break. Give you a moment. When we come back, it is time for the meat. We can't wait to talk about the biggest film of the year. It's Spider Man No Way Home. Stick around. We'll be right back. You've heard others, but nothing could prepare you for the shameful stupidity that is the Jock and Nerd Podcast. Hear Imran. So if you offend everyone at once, it all it's a wash. I've covered everybody. Anthony. Sorry, I was texting. Say that again. And Rug Boy. Yeah, whenever there's a snowstorm, my slack hole tightens up. As they talk over one another. Just exactly uh, the same as, the as Tim. Terminator. We're talking over each other. It's fine. Sorry. Swear. I had boobies. And ask you for money. Just give us the money. Witness the hubris as they claim to be the world's authority on comic book movies. Well, who's that? Never said that. You've never said that. Who cares? A jock said that. Comic book, TV, movie, reviews, news, and whatever they choose. Available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and wherever you find your favorite podcasts. The Jock and Nerd Podcast. It can't be silly, goofy fun. Seriously, people really listen to this. Uh, Jock and Nerd! The Meat. Welcome back from the break. This is Mostly Superheroes. I'm your host, Logan. Here with Scotty Scoop, the giggler in the studio in St. Louis, Missouri. It's time. To talk about the biggest movie of 2021. We just saw it again and again. I'm sure you're out there seeing it again and again and again. They brought them together. It's all happening. All your dreams are coming true with this fantastic film. With the web slinger himself. It's Spider-Man No Way Home. Let's give it up. Thirty second MCU title, the fourth MCU movie released in twenty twenty one. Again, this is a Sony film. Spider Man is the Sony property. Let's just break down the biggest movie that's happened since Avengers Endgame. Huge, huge, most anticipated, most delivery in terms of anticipation, and I cannot wait to get into a story that is epic, that hits on all marks, and we're gonna get some ratings. We're gonna talk about how we feel. We'll poke holes where we need to. We got questions about where this thing ended. First, a little help from Digital Spy. I wanted to bring him some numbers because, my gosh, woo, 
Ooh, boy. this thing. It's a lot of numbers. A lot of numbers. Especially with the pandemic and full swing, numbers are crazy. It's like, what are what is even a good box office nowadays? Let's try to help you out. Thanks again to Digital Spy. This thing had a budget of $200 million. Let's talk about the box, op- box office. Had a huge global opening of $600 million worldwide and is currently standing. This is as of just yesterday. Oh, man. This is of January 4th. At $1.37 billion as of January 2, making it the 12th highest grossing movie of all time. It's also Sony's biggest movie ever, taking the record from its predecessor, Spider-Man Far From Home, that made $1.13 billion worldwide. Little frame of reference for the year. Black Widow had $375 million. Shang-Chi, $417. Eternals, $399 million. Again, these are all 2021 titles. And if Spider-Man No Way Home manages to end at $1.6 billion, I guess this is the next target, that will see it. That will make it the third biggest MCU movie of all time, obviously behind Avengers Endgame and Infinity War. Yeah. I guess we should give it up because that's unbelievable. Yeah. I, uh, I, I read today that um, the four Marvel films made up 30% of the box office numbers from 2021. 30% of all box office yeah. uh, profits. Yep. Wow. So a third of everything that came out was, was people that, that people saw was a Marvel property. Was a Marvel property yes. in terms of people seeing it and yes. going and paying money. Or, uh, you know, I, I feel like, you know, man, the big experiment, right? Th- these movies yeah. and Disney Plus, yeah. it's a big, it, like, you know, either way, people are showing up and people showed up for this Spider Man film. I want to go around the room, do some gut checks. This movie that I just saw last night coming off hot is an emotional film. And when I talk about it, I get so excited. I got to calm myself down. But man, well, I think we're going to be talking about Near Perfect today. Giggler. The Spider-Man himself, you've been Spider-Man on the show. You love you love the guy. I wish you would have reminded me to wear that suit today. I told you to bring the mask. I don't know why. I, I was kind of wondering why. I completely forgot. Scotty's got the shirt on. Yeah. Scotty's got a crossover with Lost. Crushed it. And Spider-Man, the Dharma yeah. Initiative logo with a Spider-Man logo. Nice yeah. job. Yeah. Giggler, gut reaction of the film. You said near perfect. I would agree there. That's for sure. Emotional roller coaster. Like it kept me on the edge of my seat the whole time. And like I I'm, I'm gonna continue to see it probably a couple more times this month because that's how good it is. Yeah. You had a great time. I loved it. How'd I, Stephanie I, do? Uh she loved it too. We actually we saw this in Pittsburgh the second day of our vacation. Uh like I made a compromise with her. Um, she was not pleased to be seeing a movie while we were on vacation, but I was like, but I have to. Well, vacations are four. To. Yeah, but we're on to. vacation. Yeah. yeah. But, this is the best time to see a movie. Right. What? Yeah. No, I, I cinematic I, adventure. I saw it in like a <laughs> janky movie theater in Pittsburgh. Oh but no. It's fine. It was so good. There was like no one in there. And oh, it, wow. she no, she loved it. Yeah. It, it it hit on all all cylinders and then you saw it a second time. Yes, saw that I got. I already pre-bought tickets for the five dollar Tuesday at, at Ronnie's. Yes, thanks Ronnie's. Appreciate it as yep. always. Marcus Cedars, love so, you guys. Saw that and brought uh Mike, uh, Mikey, my roommate, and uh my friend Mike Harrison as well. So um, double good, Mike good man. Good it was man. all with all the mics. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I actually had an extra seat on that one, so I just kind of just had an open spot next to buffer. me. I was like, it's Buffers five bucks. On. Yeah, cool. Oh man, and I forgot to return it. Somebody backed out, but but you oh. had a good time. You saw it in IMAX. I think IMAX is the way to go. Yes. Hundred percent. I'm. I'll see it again. I'll see you you want to go next week? Maybe. I'm. I'm in. Let's just. Yeah. I, I mean, absolutely. It's gonna take us to go. Scotty Scoop, give us that uh, gut check, the instant reaction. What was your experience like? Where'd you see this thing, and how'd it go? Uh, I saw it at uh, Marcus De Pair Super Screen DLX. I didn't. I didn't get to IMAX at either time that I went. Um, the first time it was just sold. Mm. You know, waited too long. And uh, man. It's, I sat there the whole time just in awe, you know, and it's just like, I can't believe they're delivering. Yeah. Like it's happening. Here it comes. Like every beat mm-hmm. was, was there. And I was like, man, the, where are they going to drop the ball? Yeah. When didn't, it, when's, where's the lull? Where is it going to, right. where's it going to fall short? Where, yeah. Where do we slow down? Where, where are we going to have problems? I just, I didn't get there. It's a movie that pushes like the, 
obstacles in the movie usually you have like two or three like toward the middle and you start wrapping them up mm -hmm. this one was like okay not only are they getting bigger and worse and crazier by the end you have you're you feel satisfied with the ending but you have you have this hunger to be like yeah what are all these things that are about to go down yeah what is going on should we talk about the story let's do it this movie mcu town talking timeline i mean we're trying to figure this out this picks up immediately after spider-man far from home this is right. This is after the events of Endgame. This is a post blip world. Like six months is what I remember. About six months had gone by in Far From Home. He fought Mysterio. He wins. But then at the end, we get a in credit scene. I yeah. think it was. Yeah. A different version of J. Jonah Jameson. Yeah. Of dot net. Right. You know, Do, doing his own his own like Alex Jones thing. He's doing like yeah. it's like this. It's got a green screen behind <laughs> got him. The green screen for sure. He's a menace. He's a menace and he's got the voice here he is. Okay. Spider-Man is Peter Parker mm. in the movie. This movie opens with that that is it's a cold open with the audio from the end of that film yeah. and you hear J. Jonah Jameson. Spider-Man everyone knows this is going to change his whole life. This is what we got in the trailer. They live right up to it. And essentially, you're getting, you know, this is what? How many films now is this? This is the his sixth, his fifth. Yeah, two um, Spider-Man films: Civil War, six, Infinity War, Endgame. This Endgame. is Tom Holland's sixth film, and man, I don't it's know. It's hard what, to believe. It's so hard to believe because you see him on screen and he's Spider-Man, and immediately you're like, I'm, I'm in, I'm in again. Mm -hmm. He is Spider-Man, and he feels young, he feels fresh. I mean, they've already after this movie is so successful. Well, they already confirmed three more titles. Yeah. Unbelievable, um, but you know this is a uh, this is obviously going to radically change his whole life. And apparently, at this point in time, media is blowing up, and he's being um, almost really on trial, stalked. Well, stalked by fans, but then yeah. brought in by the FBI because he uh, essentially did you do what Mysterio said? Right. Did like, you you're, send you're... these dro drones down to kill people? Yeah, some sort of international assassin. Yes. Um, and pretty much, you know, getting told, like, if you don't cooperate, you might be going to jail. Aunt May's there. They're questioning her. Child um, child endangerment. Child, yeah, you you let him do this. Right. Let's not forget, this is after the Sokovia Accords, which, like, what happened to the Sokovia Accords, like, after the blip? Yeah. Like, do people care anymore? Uh, yeah. Like, after the blip, are they like, hey, we got to rethink all of the Accords because right. every superhero just... Saved, saved the world, the, world the galaxy in, up, in upstate New York. Yeah, the uni the universe. Yeah, like the whole universe. Like they had to have rethought the whole Accords thing. Right. So he's a little bit on trial, but they don't really bring up the Accords. No, it's not about like you dressing up as Spider Man, which you would think that would be like the go to. Like mm -hmm. this is the crime, but it really wasn't. It was more about like, did you did you do what Mysterio said? Right. It's like um, no, I was I was working with Nick Fury the whole time. Oh no, you weren't. Because Nick Fury's been off planet for like the last five years. The last year, yeah. he said. And he's like, what? So, right. so then you figure out, okay, this is a spoiler for Spider-Man Far From Home. Uh, Talos, the shapeshifter. Scroll. Scroll. There yeah. we go. Uh, he was Nick Fury the whole time, which is like a whole storyline. So Nick Fury's up on a space station somewhere. So cool. And I guess it's just like pop public knowledge that Nick Fury's like up in space. Yeah. Like people just know it. Um. It's also affecting his girlfriend and Ned. They're now having trouble getting into colleges. Yeah. They're MIT. MIT's like, no. Nope. Yep. Sorry. You're friends with Spider Man. You're, yeah. It's, it's just not going to work out. Um, Apparently, it was okay for Flash Thompson to be friends with Spider Man. Yeah. Flash Thompson, he's, he's selling a book. Yeah. He's got a book. That's, that, that was one of the problems. A little snag there. You didn't like that? I, I just thought it was weird. That makes like they, sense. Yeah. Yeah. You're going to let Spider Man's best friend who came out with a book in, but you're going to reject Ned. And yeah. MJ, yeah. because they're friends with Spider-Man, I was like, ah, I'm not jiving there. Yeah. I'm, something's weird there. Something real weird. They had to shoehorn him into that. I agree. I, you know what I did like, though? The moment Flash finds out that Peter Parker is Spider-Man. Oh, yeah. That's great. Because <laughs> that's like the payoff from the first two films. It's right. It's like, what? Yeah. This guy that I've been, like, bullying, essentially. Um, So he's, you know, Peter Parker's, he's he's not having it. Yeah, he's outed. He needs he's a good outed. lawyer. He needs, oh, yeah. He and, uh. He needs a good lawyer, and here we go. Charlie Cox is back. Dare Boom! Down. Yeah, we cut into the into the kitchen, and his into the kitchen. Uh, Matt Murdock is here. He's in the MCU, not just brought back into the MCU from his TV show, but in a full feature film. 
sitting there being Tom Holland, yeah. Peter Parker, Spider-Man, giving him advice, telling Happy advice, because Happy maybe eventually had something to do with some of the Avengers stuff that was like stolen. Stolen, missing. It's yep. missing. He's telling him. And uh, while they're sitting there talking, Rick comes through the wall like someone throws it from the street. Matt Murdock does his Ooh, thing, catches it. No look catch. No look catch. How'd you do that? What's he say? I'm a, I'm really, a really good, good lawyer. lawyer. I'm a really good lawyer. <laughs> Hey, what'd you guys think? How was oh, this? Oh man, what was, was this like for you? Was the theater? Was your theater also like? Oh yeah, <gasps> when it's it had he boom, his face was on there. Everybody just whoa, there he is. He's got yeah. the red glasses. He's got the cane. Yep. Like same this, guy, same guy. You know what was this? Twenty thirteen, twenty fourteen. The, the, the Netflix show? show. Yeah, yeah. Yep. I think twenty thirteen to sixteen. Yeah, I ran through. Foggy. Where is he? Who knows? Uh, Karen. But they just flopped that. Right on the table. In Boom. The first Ten minutes of the movie. Yeah. I was yeah. Like, what? Immediately. I was like, <laughs> that set the tone immediately. I was like, this is what this movie is going to be. And they're like, and, well, let's just show them this right now mm-hmm. and get it out of the way. Yeah. And like, what else are we going to see? Yeah. And spoiler alert: the rest of the movie is so good that by the time the end of the movie came, I didn't even remember. You don't even remember. It. You're like, that was that. And like, You're how's like, that going to crap? And like, that's going to come around. And then, I mean, spoiler alert for Hawkeye. Because you might be watching, depending when you watch this or if you're just watching the clips, Kingpin is back. Kingpin is back. So it's like, okay, now we got both these characters just in two, the two most recent MCU titles. Like, holy cow, this is no coincidence. Yeah. They're just going to, they're just going to bring them in. They're just like, how do we bring, bring them in? in? Yeah. Just bring them in. Just march them in. Do you guys love it? I loved it. And it just made, it made my, my brain right away go, who else are we going to get? Who else are we gonna get? Yeah, what's gonna be what's gonna happen next? And what does happen next? Peter decides. All right, that's enough of this. No, none of us are getting in college. Uh, Flash Thompson's at some MIT happy hour nearby. He calls him, gets him to tell him where one of the administrators uh, is headed to the airport. It's a, a lady that I forget her name. She's driving to the airport. She's trying to get to MIT. Peter tracks her down. Oh, well, you've you've jumped ahead of Please. the Doctor Strange meetup. Oh, I've already skipped it. Oh, you already oh, skipped it. Oh, because I'm jumping. Yeah, to the you know that's where that means that's what I'm trying you're, to get to. You're swinging into the future, Logan. That's right. All right. So he says I can get help with this. I'm yeah. gonna go to my wizard friend, Doctor Strange, because I know for a fact we could do time travel. He's got magic. Yeah, he goes. There he can he, fix it. He can fix it. And what do we get, man? We get the Sanctum Sanctorum, All right? Covered in snow. Oh yeah. Two, who are those two people shoveling yeah, snow? Just random two kids. I don't know. Interns? Some, yeah, magic yeah. interns. <laughs> like, just and no nothing. No? <laughs> no explanation. None. Not from anyone. We'll get one. They'll have their own show no one even, in 2025. Like, neither Wong, which Wong shows up, comes out of the thing. The new Sorcerer Supreme. The new Sorcerer Supreme. There was a technicality. Doctor Strange was blipped. So Wong is the Sorcerer Supreme, and yep. he's, out, he's out doing all these journeys Yeah, he's again. busy, man. Where have we seen him? I mean, throughout the MCU this year. We saw him in- Shang-Chi. Shang-Chi. Yeah. Well, anything else? No, I think that's it. Is he in Eter- Eternals post credit scene? Yes. Oh, yes. I was like, there was one more. Yeah, and he's he's around, and he's off doing his thing. Peter says, hey, listen, Doctor Strange, why is all this snow in here, first of right. all? Right. Well, they say a blizzard blew yeah, through one of the doors. We, we've got a portal to like Antarctica or something, and a blizzard blew through because somebody forgot to... Uh, to tighten the door or some Yeah, some and crap. he's like, and somebody forgot because somebody, uh, somebody's forgot right. that I have higher duties now right. as the source of Supreme. But uh, he says, you know, can you go back in time and make it to where no one, that no one outs me right. as Peter Parker? Because that's what has trickled all these these things. So, you know, Happy's in trouble. Aunt Mace can't live at home anymore. Friends can't go to college. Strange says, no, I don't have the time stone anymore. Right. Because it was, destroyed yeah which first question of like mcu like what the rules are our universe doesn't just have any stones right now and i guess that's okay yeah because thanos destroyed them yep all right on. doesn't have them and he says well what if you know all right that's fine dr strange is like well, how about i do this i'll make it to where no one remembers yeah. that you're make Spider-Man. everybody forget so he says that's fine. Wong is like, I don't really approve of this. I'm just gonna leave. Strange takes him down to the basement of the Sanctum Sanctorum, the uh, the Wizard's Dungeon. Yeah, the the dull, the sort of with the D. I, I don't remember what he tells. He tells him later. He's like, yeah. you guys can hang out in the whatever. But he takes him down there. Never been in this room before, but here we are in this like crypt, laundry room and slash laundry. Doctor Strange <laughs> is just gonna do this spell. Yeah. What do you guys think of Doctor Strange? Benedict Cumberbatch. 
Cumberbatch in this movie. Like when you see him in the first, you know, that first scene, here we are doing this scene. What's going through your head? I was like, man, there's something off. Right? Like, something's really? off. You know, he's very laid back. He's wearing a hoodie. I yeah, wearing his, a hoodie. I and some... I love the fit. That's a very quarantine outfit he has. Oh, yeah. it's, oh trust me, comfy wise. But it's like, is he doing okay? Is, I think he's just. Is he going through it? You know, like, hey, I'm not I'm not the Sorcerer Supreme anymore. I don't have any responsibilities. We saved the universe. Yeah. I got blipped for five years. Yeah. I'm back at the house. Sure, I'll do I'm your gonna, memory spell. Yeah, I've just been hanging out here all day eating carrot cake. Yeah, that's right. That's the way you do it on quarantine. Uh, all right, so he does the spell. He gets the rings going. And Peter, of course, in classic Peter Parker style, just like, Fumbling over his words. Oh, I oh, forgot. Why? What about MJ? I, I want like... Ned to know. I yeah. want. Oh, my best friend. I can't <laughs> let it's Aunt May. It was ever... really How awkward when everybody? she found out. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, I don't want to go through that again. Right. And the spell ends up breaking. Yeah, going crazy. Goes crazy and hits like starts like even. I think we had a little bit of like multiversal cracking happening all yeah. right, just a little. Then Doctor Strange puts it back and he puts it inside one of these little prisms. It's yeah. like three dimensional shapes that contained we've contained it into some sort of hexagonal shape, which we've seen. We've seen them all over the place. What if for sure? Yeah. With the dark Doctor Strange Supreme. That's what he did with mm-hmm. the uh, Ultron body and Killmonger. He just put yeah. him in a little purple. It's the same thing. Yeah. Except it's just like I think that one was like round. Yeah. This one's like some more s- wild. Some yeah, some sort of extra dim- dimension that he's like. <sighs> yeah, it's like a mini a pocket yeah, like, dimension. Yeah, something like that. And put, contains it and says, listen, we got to contain this thing. That almost erupted bad. It yeah, almost that was like, bad news. It was like breaking through the multiverse, but hey, whatever. We're we're good. You get out of here. As You know, you've since you've already talked <laughs> to the colleges <laughs> and they've said they can't let you in, um, I guess that's what it is. And he's like, oh, I could have called the colleges. They just said I wasn't in. Yeah. I can, I can ask them to like. Not do that? Yeah, where's Aunt May? I mean, she's the one running in with all these letters. Yeah. Like, you think she'd be like, why don't we call him? Call MIT. Like, there's not a lot of trying real hard to solve it. No. Otherwise, you wouldn't need Doctor Strange. Right. So I'm glad that they went this route. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I guess he probably hadn't even told her yet, right? At that point, right? Because he went straight from. You you might be right. He was at the diner. Yeah, but like all the other places. The other ones were saying no, too. rejected. She would have been like, hey, don't worry. You um, can call him. I'm going to send an email. Yeah, get in touch. Yep. You know, maybe have a conversation. Hey, can you rethink this? Nothing. And, and this is where he decides, okay, I'll do that. So that's when he calls Flash Thompson. That's when he says, okay, I'll find this MIT lady. I'm going to talk to her. Finds her on the bridge. He's wearing his suit and tie. He's like, And she's like, okay, maybe. And in the middle of this conversation, he gets his spidey sense. Yeah. He starts seeing some little, a little rumble. People running. Yeah. People running and screaming. Pops up in the car. Superhero pose. Super spider pose yep. for sure. Here he is. Goes. Doc Ock. He's back. Yeah. <laughs> Alfred Molina. We, de-aged. I mean, Andy, what were you thinking? How were you feeling when you saw this big octopus mf coming down the highway? Well, I this obviously this part was all over the trailers. Can you imagine seeing this? Fresh. I wish. I would, oh, yeah. I, it would have been so cool. Trailer free. Yeah, I, think. I'm, I might be skipping trailers in the future. Who knows? Yeah, it's... it would have been. I, I mean, I'm what, what rating I'm going to give this movie, it would have probably been even better if it would have. If you had no idea about any of it. Oh, my God. Like you would like they made the movie and you just blipped back. That's it. You could. Yeah. You go straight from That's the it. end of <laughs> No Way Home. And then you just cryogenically freeze yourself until the next one comes out. That's, I think I'll probably just do that for the next you movie. You just freeze yourself in between Marvel movies. Yeah, yeah. for sure. That sounds, that sounds like a pretty good life. And yeah. like you would live a long time and you get to see all the movies. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like You'd be like, I only live like five days a year. Like, oh, you wake up and you're like, oh, what phase is it? Yeah, you, what, what phase are they on? You take like a two minute long piss like in Austin Powers when you're done. <laughs> Evacuation. Yeah. Wow. This is Tangent City. I'm sorry, guys. No, you're fine. All right, so there he is. He's here. He's de-aged uh, from Spider-Man 2 with Tobey Maguire. He's here across the multiverse. He's looking for Peter Parker. Apparently, it's like before he's died, obviously. He's, is, he sees Spider-Man in a suit. He thinks it's his. Big fight scene on the bridge. Apparently, there was, you know, there's this, this fight scene lasts, I don't know, maybe around five minutes. 
they say that they could have lasted 20 with the footage they got. Yeah. Like this will be like extra features probably wherever we get to watch this one yeah, day. Yeah, we're going to get like the spider cut or something. The spider cut. Woo! That was really good, Scotty. Yeah. Thanks. Buy it. Hey, you don't just bring me here for my looks, right? That's right. Yeah, but also for really good super puns. <laughs> um, all right, fight goes back and forth. A lot of throwing of cars. This guy's just as maniac as he ever was. Oh, and, yeah. You know, as big a maniac as he ever was. I mean, um, straight from Spider-Man 2. Just like just, right from the end. Just drop yeah. him like right he in. He is angry. Yep. Crazy. It's him again. Yeah. The <laughs> arms are in full control. Yep. And Worried about his stupid son. Yeah. The sun, the power of the sun in the palm, palm of my hand. hand. And like they brought back all the quotes. Where's my machine, Peter? Yeah, Peter. Um, and he pulls off part of Peter's nano suit and Oh, just like tries to like stab him and in the chest. And doesn't go down. Yeah, yeah he was gonna stab R- him. He like rips his mask off. And his mask his mask like protects his mask goes down to his chest yeah, and yeah, like yeah. protects him. Yeah, yeah, that's right. And that's when he's like, Oh, you're not my Peter. Yeah. Okay, well, this yeah. is this Who are you? is then it's like, okay, what's going on here? Um Doc Ock the, notices the nanotech. nanotech. The nanotech takes over his octopus arms yeah, and, and Peter. He's, he's happy about it at first. He's like, oh, nanotech. Oh, and, oh, and this is like, nice. And you think like, oh, he's like, gonna be great. Like, extra bad yeah, now. And now he's you know no. guess super what? Super Ock. He's, his suit can be controlled now by Peter Parker's little- suit. Well, like Bluetooth. Bluetooth, yeah, yeah, Bluetooth. He's Bluetooth. like hitting the settings, that shit. and he's, web, web tooth. He like, he like, he like helps the lady get back up to the yeah. bridge. He bring, he rides it up. He kind of oh, like yeah. rides and it like Doc Ock is like pissed the whole time. Yeah. He's like, come on, what, you, what are you doing? He's like, you know? oh, he's all locked up. Yeah. And then right as he's starting to be like, what's going to happen? The MIT lady's like, I'll help you guys out. Don't worry. She leaves. Yeah, you're a hero, Peter. <laughs> wow and then yeah bomb, pumpkin bomb. bombs pumpkin bomb and we get him yeah like full on like, just here he there comes. in his full on suit just right there you're looking at him and then strange right immediately takes peter and, and doc, doc ock, ock back to the crypt and like locks away doc ock yeah the multiverse is cracked open instead of anyone forgetting that you were peter parker or you were spider-man instead all of people that know peter parker is spider-man from unknown universes are now showing up here they're coming here they're coming here yeah they're being pulled from their universe they're being pulled here doc ock's the first one plan becomes pretty simple trap them all go find them trap them all peter says i need help he gets mj's help he gets ned's help they get to hang out in the uh basement of the sanctum sanctorum this is where you get the scooby-doo this shit line right um yeah he gives them the little arm shooter thing the that, magic blaster yeah like nanotech but with but with magic <laughs> dr strange magic pretty crazy that can shoot and trap the people whenever you shoot send them, them send them back to the basement next e- one even if it's just a tree yeah even no matter what it is no matter what it hits yeah. it puts it into the the cell um we don't know what happens to uh well we find out right away green goblin is Norman Osborn. He takes off the helmet. He's in an alley. It's him. Mm -hmm. And he's having the dialogue with the bad version. And he's Norman. And this guy is like, he's really kind of coming to now. Because he's like, I have jumped into another universe. Something is wrong. Something's wrong. And he kind of becomes the good Norman again and just runs off. You don't know what's going to happen yet. Um, And the next one that we have to get is, we don't know which one it is, but Peter goes off into... The woods out in the middle of nowhere where they've got a sense of one. Who is it? None other than electricity Electro. forming Electro from the amazing Spider-Man 2. two. Yeah. And, we, and and we forget when, when they got Doc Ock back, yep. he already had the lizard oh, yes. in the basement. He had already, Dr. Strange yeah. was like, I went into the sewer and I found that thing. Right. <laughs> and it's, it's Dr. It's, Connors yeah, as Doc the Connors. full-on lizard. Yeah. So next is Electro. Jamie Foxx is here in this universe. The power feels different. He he he's has his body. Normal. He's not blue. He's not blue. And he almost kills Peter. And right before he does, what can happen? Sand, Sandman. Sandman pops up and goes, Peter. Yeah. It's me. Peter. Peter Mark, it's me. What's his name? Flint Marco. Flint, Flint Marco. <laughs> yeah. Remember, I'm good now. Right. <laughs> and he just sees the Spider-Man suit inside out, black and gold. Yeah. Pretty cool. Yeah. Um. And he gets, he basically, Peter basically enlists 
Marco's help to kind yeah. of fight against Electro. Like, help me bring this guy down. Yes. You know, he tries to shoot him. It goes right through his body. Yep. Hits the tree. Hits the tree. Takes zaps the tree, the tree back. back to the basement. <laughs> um, and eventually, oh, uh, Jamie Foxx, he's he's fine in this movie. I want to talk about it. Uh, I think the, probably the best line was probably right when you get him. Is like, y'all just going to stand there and pretend I'm not naked? Right. <laughs> <laughs> he's just full on naked. Yeah. Um, but then he, he zaps him. Zaps him. Locks him up. Okay, here we, here we are. We're here. And, the, and that that really turns off Sandman. He's like, "What did you just do to this guy?" Yeah, yes, He's like, did you just kill him? Did you just kill that guy? I don't trust anybody. Yeah, yeah. I don't trust you. You're I don't not trust the anybody. Peter I know. But then he zaps him. Zaps he gets him. him locked away. Um, and then the last one is Norman Osborn. Peter's hanging back. He's cleaning up the electrical lines that he's unplugged. He's mm-hmm. like putting them all back. And he gets a call from his aunt May, who's down at the food. Shelter, shelter where yeah, she whatever, the always food bank. where she's always volunteering and says like one of these guys just showed up. It's Norm, it's Norman Osborn, and this is like this really made me feel for the guy here. This is where yeah. Peter finds him, and Norman's like, I woke up, I'm in a strange place. My son is not a person, right? Someone is living in my house. Osborn, Oscorp, Oscorp doesn't exist, doesn't even exist. You know, like this uh, is like, what when, shook me. Yeah, right away you're like, oh my god, you're like, man, this guy like. Is he like, is he a victim like to, right. to this demon that he like awoke himself and to bring him out of the original Spider-Man film? And we're watching it almost 20 years later. Yeah. And he looks great. Oh my God. They're, they're de-aging. It was perfect. Everybody just looks like it's normal. It's only been a couple of years. Yeah. It's insane. What'd you think when you saw the goblin? Insane. I love it. Were you were you empathizing for Norman? Were you like, I, oh, yeah. I feel for this he, guy? He, I mean, he should probably win like an award or something. He did, his acting was unreal in this. Get him it's, an Oscar. Sounds good to me. The, the it, film, I heard they were going to be putting a lot of money to try to get the film has been submitted award, for. So. They're going for it. Yeah, they're for going for global takeover, best picture, and every category. It I, has been submitted. After what you say about the thirty percent of all the <laughs> box office money was Marvel, I was like, I can't unhear that. Yeah. I'm like. Man, they're going for global takeover. They're going for like all of it, all the things that people are watching. And Oscars are another path, you know. Yeah. Um. All right. So you get all the all these guys there now, all the bad guys. You got them from all the different movies. Uh. And Peter's there. MJ, Ned, D- Strange comes back. He's got the curse in the box now, the new box. And he's like, when you push this, it'll send them all back. Well, and they've they've had a dialogue now with um, Doc Ock. Yes. That. They're learning. Like, hey, Norman Osborn was dead. Yeah, here we go. This is where we figure out the the what of all this. Right. Like he was dead. Norman Osborn was dead, and Sandman says, You both were dead. Yeah, you 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 were both dead. Oz uh Otto. Yeah. And then we get the story of the other two. Oh, what do we learn? Yeah. All of you guys. I was just about to kill Spider Man. I was just like, about to kill Spider Man. <laughs> no, nah, he was whooping my ass. Yes. <laughs> and they all kind of had the realization, like that's when they got pulled out. Was like, mm-hmm. you're gonna send them back. Well, they're going to die. Yeah. And this is ine- inevitably becomes, and this is going to be the big question. This is this type of stuff I talked about when we talked about Loki. We talked about what if. You get into these questions of like the whole storyline about Loki. Spoiler alert for the episode, that show, and the TVA, and what it was for and all that. And the real question comes down to like, who is anyone to say that like any multiverse can't exist or do whatever? Right. Because Strange's whole thing in this movie is you got to send them back. Yeah. We got to protect this. Our time, our yeah, timeline. It's better if they just go back. Yeah. It's kind of the logic. Right. Like, they don't belong here. Yeah. So and- something's going to screw up even more if these guys stay here and we don't send them back exactly where they belong, just like they did with the Infinity Stones. Yes. We had to put them right back where they came out of. Right. We got to put them right back. Because he got that spiel, um, uh, the Hulk did anyway, yes. about, hey, you're plucking these things off. You're going to create a, a, another timeline. Yes, you'll create these crazy realities, right? This is yeah. the same worrisome speed. But here's the dilemma that Peter gets. You're sending them back to die. Yeah. And Aunt May is like, you have to help these people. You got- You're Spider-Man. And she's like, she's all about like every person you help. You know, you got to help everybody. You're Spider-Man. This is your whole thing. And because of this, we get Spider-Man versus Doctor Strange. Yeah. What do you guys think of this, man? Oh, man, that was great. <sighs> Beautiful. Take the box. Zap, zaps him. Zaps him into the cell. Yes. With Sandman. <laughs> and you're like, oh, Snatch, that was pretty good. Walks snatches, right out. Yeah, snatches the box, walks through the, the force field. Yep. Sandman tries to follow him. Yep. Smashes his face. And they're Spider- out the street. Yeah, Spider Man's like, I'm out of here. He tells, we, get, we get so many cool things here with the yeah, magic and Spider Man. Tells his friends, like, hey, 
what am I going to do? Like, I got to get out of here. Well, you know. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go run. I'll be right, right. back. He's in the street. Uh, Strange makes the ring holes and Spider-Man like webs himself. Webs himself. Falls like through the hole. Strange gets a hold of him. Astro planes Boom. him out. This is a big part. Andy, I know what's wow. coming up here. It's Tom Holland. You know, Peter Parker He's back there in his real body. Hey, am I dead? Am I dead? Am I dead? Strange reaches for the box and Spider-Man, the dead, like the body, like incoherent. Yeah. Is just moving it away yeah. to where Strange can't, and he's going. You should not be able to do that. Yeah, you should not be able to do that. Spider it, sense. A lot. It's got to be spider sense, right? Yep, they take 100%. you back to Tom, and to Peter, and you can see almost like visibly yeah, the, the spider lines. sense. Yeah, around his it. head, and he swims himself back into the body, and he goes, "That was the coolest thing that's ever happened to me. Don't ever do it to me again." <laughs> right. Which is like this is like him becoming more Spider Man every time you've seen him. Mm -hmm. Like he's like getting very much more of like his own hero. Love it. Um. But Andy, you had a theory that you sent me about this. Okay, can you guys remember what those that moment was called or whatever? Yeah, what an if? absolute. Remember this, an absolute moment. Do you remember that from what if? Well, we can't <clears throat> we can't discuss this yet without spoiling a future event of the movie. Okay, let's just leave it then. I got it. I got it. All right, we'll do it at we'll the end. There, there. Okay, yeah, there's yeah, a theory yeah. around this. What's like yeah. something more is happening than Spider? Oh, I know okay. what you're talking about. Yeah. All right, we'll do it at the end. I got it in my notes. We'll go. Epic. All right, epic battle out of into the mirror verse. Here we go. I mean, this is so awesome. And Peter's like, where are we? The city's like folding on itself. The trains are going. The long line of the train just going through the sky. Yeah. And just pulls he, him into the mirror dimension. And he gets like a little mini lesson because like I just watched Doctor Strange, you know? But mm -hmm. like if you, like Peter Parker, he hasn't really no, hung out. He didn't watch Doctor Strange. He didn't. He saw the battle against Thanos. Right. So he like had an idea, but like being in the city like that, he's yeah. just falling. Yeah. Very um, inception buildings collapsing oh, yeah. in and moving and the different shifting and he notices the different patterns that dr strange is building and peter realizes it's a form of geometry yeah that this is just geometry i'm good at that yeah and hooks it up with his webs in a way to where he pulls like the mirror verse on top of itself gets dr strange sling ring the box and locks his ass in there <laughs> and he gets back to the Gone. place and he goes into mj and ned and he goes i just had a, doctor, a fight with dr strange and i won yeah He's not wrong. It's like, I got the box. I took his ring. <laughs> I got his ring. <laughs> Ned takes the ring. Right. It's a little bit of magic in his face. A little magic. He like high fives him. He's like, yeah, my grandma yeah. said there's like, a little magic. Yeah. Dr. Strange is like, yeah, yeah you should see your physician. Pops, yeah. <laughs> um, and that here's the plan. I'm going to cure all you guys while Dr. Strange is locked away. <clears throat> I'm not just going to send you back. I'm going to cure you and change your fate. Yeah, we're going to fix you. We're going to fix you. Yeah. Which is like, this is crazy, right? Yeah. This is like big time storytelling. Like they're going out on a limb here to yeah. be like, this is a big decision. This is a big yeah. call to be like, like you, I'm just going to, you're heal. really, you're really going to let all five of these villains who just tried to kill you. Yeah. Everyone has tried to kill you. You're going to let them out and you're gonna just going to work on them. And you're going to take them to Happy's condo. Right. <laughs> we don't have a place to go. We have nowhere to go. <laughs> and thank goodness, Pappy did steal, I guess, from this. Avengers Campus like and a, had a, a fabricator a, or something. Yeah, a fabricator. Yeah. The yeah. same. It was on the, the one that was on the Quinjet. It's yeah. like the same thing that was on the jet in Far From Home when he has to like make his new suit and Happy flies the jet. Yep. And uh, he has this thing, and essentially he's going to use this fabricator to use make the tech to heal everybody. Doc Ox up first. Can he do it? Like everybody's doubting him. Yep. You get some good. They, they took. They like figured out like, well, oh, it's this the chip on the back of his neck. He goes, he goes, and he explains it just like they do in the movie. Like yeah. this makes it to where he controls them and they can't control him. Right. No wonder he's so pissed. Yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah. Crazy. And Norman's like, wow, if you ever want to have a job and you don't mind commuting multiverses, <laughs> you can come over to Oscorp. And I was like, this is getting so good. <laughs> you get that. You get that classic line. I'm something of a scientist myself. myself. That was so <laughs> great. Rang it. Loved it. it. Oh, and the villains talking about each other and Jamie yeah. Foxx or uh uh Jamie Foxx was like, Oh, I know Dr. Connors. I used to work with him. Yeah, he went real crazy, tried to turn a whole city into lizards. <laughs> and Dr. Connors is like, if you want a real makeover, I can give you one. Right. <laughs> and Jamie Foxx is like, Let me guess, a lizard? <laughs> He's like, Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, ridiculous. Oh, man. So good. Um, You get, uh, oh, man, you get Jamie. Jack, I guess Jamie Foxx has some, he, they gave him some good funny stuff. Yeah, Jamie Foxx and some Sandman singers. talking. Yeah. And he's like, J Sandman's like, what happened to you? And he's like, I uh, fell into a vat of electric eels. Yeah. And he's like, oh, what happened to you? And he's like, I fell into a super collider. A super collider. <laughs> and Jamie Foxx, yeah, well, guess you got to watch where you fall. Yep. 
<laughs> like that kind of stuff's great. Yeah, I love it. Um, the banter. So, so Tom, uh, Peter, I keep calling him Tom. Peter does it. Heals Otto. Yeah. Puts the thing on. He's like, my my goodness, my yeah. boy. You've done it. And they're working on the rest of them. And while he's working. Well, they, yeah, they get, uh, he puts the thing on Jamie Foxx. And it's going to the countdown. He says, hey, you know, this is going to, this is going to take a little time. As soon as it greens up, you're good. You'll be good. Like, he would have been good right yeah. then. He actually solved he that one pretty quickly. One bar away. Dr. Connors, the lizard, is hanging out in the truck. He didn't yeah. want to come in. Didn't want to come up. Um, nothing for Sandman yet. And he's working, working with Norman. Oh, on the next, what was on, the next one? It, it was on his. It was on his, yeah. oh, his antidote. Yeah. It's, to it's, cure the monster inside Norman Osborn. Yeah, it's like spinning up. It's getting ready in the in the fabricator. So then he realized he's then as he's doing this, Spidey sense. How good's the Spidey sense in this movie? Oh yeah, best man. time, best one, best yet. Yeah, oh, he's yeah. got it really honed in. Except for, I mean, I say best yet. I mean, the Magneto stuff. That was the lesson of honing in that skill, right? Like, what I say, Magneto. Uh, yeah, Mysterio. Mysterio. Yeah. When he's fighting Mysterio in Far From Home. Like that was like, yeah. if you don't have spider sense, you're gonna die. Yeah. So think like he honed in, but this one, he is he. It's like the, he's got that, it. Like he knows, and he is in the room. The shoot, the way they shoot that, that close up of his Walking face around. He's like something's going on, and then he locks in. It's Norman, and he goes, "That's a nifty little trick." Yeah, like webs <laughs> like, him, webs him up. He says, "May run, May grabs the antidote." Everybody goes wild from here. Electro's yeah. like, "I'm out." Yeah. The lizard's Screw like, "Screw this." The lizard's Rips like, "Here off. we go." You know, yes, yeah, the goes down, and he starts ripping out of the yeah. the truck. And Jay Jonah Jameson, yeah, exactly. Jay Jonah Jameson shows up. He's Perfect down there. Timing. He's like, "Did you see that?" <laughs> right. I uh, forgot how he. Uh, I think he, was he had one of his. Some, he had one yeah, of his somebody was following, following him, okay. and he's like, "They just left uh, the apartment." Oh yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. You're right. And uh, so the they had big fight scene. I mean, huge fight scene. Huge. Sandman, Sa Sandman leaves. Just Electro flies leaves. Away. They're just like, well, "We'll go do our thing." Goblin versus Peter Parker. Also, Lizard a little bit jumping yeah. in and, and helping. And uh, I mean, Norman Osborn. I mean, William Defoe. These. This is brutal fight scene. And so good. Oh yeah! And, like these two going at it. Like this Knock is down, it. drag out. Like they've been doing this for years. This is the fight. This is like no holds bars. Yeah. Like as hard as I can go, as hard as you can go. Smashing through the floors and that the ceilings. Was so and, brutal, but yeah. so awesome. Landing, the way they just drop through the floors. Dropping through the floors, land in the lobby of the building. May's there, and right when she shows up, Norman is choking Peter Parker mm -hmm. and. It's not looking good. Yeah. Like it's like he's really got him down. And May gets up, puts the cure yeah, at his neck. Yeah, hits him in the in the neck. Didn't work. Yep. Just flat out didn't work. Well, of course, Norman was working on it. He probably yeah. like sabotaged it. You know, the bad guy. For sure. Um Peter's up. He's telling May to get out. Still still fighting. Still fighting. Fights you him know, off. And yeah. May and and the glider. Peter goes down again. May grabs something, and she's like, like a pipe, yeah, a pipe or something. Like I'll, I'll, I'll stay. I, you know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna leave you. Yeah. I mean, call back to the the first movie, the Spider Man with Tobey Maguire. Glider from the outside comes in, smokes, her, gets her this time. Yeah. Oh yeah, like she's not doing it full back. on. Just nails her. Yeah, knocks her to the side. Uh, she's down. He jumps on the glider. He jumps on the glider. He looks. You know, you'll, you'll thank me, Peter. He goes, you'll thank me for this. And he decides. And he really, man, he's so evil. He's so, he smiles so big. Looks at May. And he throws a pumpkin bomb. Yep. Kind of uh, pet peeve. Like, why not? Why aren't you webbing that thing? Yeah. Peter jumps for it. Doesn't web it. It gets by a little bit. He's okay. Yeah. It's really, the yeah, blast yeah. is really about him. It's th a throwback to Spider-Man yeah. and the ex pumpkin bomb explosion like, One. right in his face. Spider-Man 3. Yeah. So great. Um, and May's down, and she gets... Oh, she's up, actually. She yeah. helps him up. You know, you're, you're thinking, okay. Okay, she's all right. She's maybe, fine. And, yeah, maybe everything's going to be okay. You know, maybe yeah. it just barely clipped her, and she's talking to him, and he's starting to come down on himself, and he says, like... You know, Norman's right. Like this is none of this is worth it. Yeah, I'm this, just gonna send them back. I, why am I not just sending? Which I be. I mean, you gotta be thinking the yeah. same thing. Like, yeah, I mean, right on the phone with MJ. Hit that button. Push like Hit the right. Button. Push the button now. Yeah. May's not okay. No. And she says, she gives him great power. She gives him the speech. Also comes great responsibility. Yeah, I, I am also not okay. Yeah. And she goes down. Yeah. 
And, and like, it, it got me. You're like, oh my God. And it, it hits, it hit, in a, it was a different experience. It wasn't like a, just a normal movie where someone dies. It's like you're seeing this play out before it plays out. Mm-hmm. And you hear the lines. And it's like, this is. As soon as she drops the line, you know what's happening. It's oh, a right. Yeah. It, this is like a rite of passage now. Yeah. And she goes down, and Tom Holland just delivers. Yeah. Well, in for th- three, five movies, you're like, where is Uncle Ben? Guess what? Aunt May is Uncle Ben. And it's that it that Uncle Ben was always her. Yeah. And uh Marissa Tomei, I mean, gone at least until another day. You know, maybe right. with the power of the multiverse, who knows? But she is gone. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that hurt. That was heavy. Peter just having a breakdown. Both times. Absolute breakdown. Breakdown. Happy shows Happy up. Happy shows up. They got him in cuffs. They're shooting at him. He runs off. Uh, where's he gonna go? Uh, who knows? He's really struggling. So why don't we just go ahead and check in with MJ and Ned? Yeah. Hanging out at Ned's grandparents. Yeah. Grandma's. <laughs> Grandma's. And I mean, Ned is a shining light in this movie. Yeah, for this, sure. This actor just I forget his name. Jacob ba- Batalon. Jake, Way to yeah, go, Andy. Like yeah, boom, on it. He is, he steals the show. Oh, Every man, scene he's, he's just in. Endlessly optimistic. And his face, his expressions, yeah. when he's like, he's like, this is a torture machine. And Jay's like, that's a Pilates machine. Yeah. <laughs> um, and he's just like, oh my God. Like yeah. everything. And uh, he's sitting there talking with MJ and he's like, I just wish I knew where Peter was. And yeah. he throws this, yeah, and he's wearing the sling s- ring s- and you just see a little sparkle. And she goes, do that again. He goes, yeah, yeah, I know, I know. I wish I knew where Peter was. Yeah, <laughs> he's kind of flailing. He needs to see, see so another then, little. So then, and then he thinks he's got the hang of it. So then he goes for it. Yeah, show me Peter where Peter Parker is. Ring opens up. We can see Spider Man. Spider Man. End, end of an alley. End of an alley. He's he, there. He is. Spider. Yeah. All right. Here he here he is. It's he's running towards us. Music's building up. Yeah. You start to re- think a little bit as like, this wait is a going. Minute. Wait, wait a, a minute. minute. That's not the right suit. Andrew Garfield's here. Andrew Garfield. Sp- uh, Peter 2. St- <laughs> Peter 3? <three>? Peter 3. <laughs> Peter 3! <three>. Peter 3! <laughs> he yes. steps through the portal, rips his mask off. Yeah. What's I'm, going on? I'm Peter Parker. I'm not your Peter. I've been looking for him. I've been here for a while. Yeah. They're like, prove. She's like, prove that you're Peter Parker. He do hangs the, on the ceiling. Do the sticky thing. Do the and sticky. he's like, I'm not doing the sticky thing. She throws the bread at yeah, him. Yeah, hits him in the chest with the bread. He and does the sticky thing. Andrew Garfield's great, right? Oh, uh, by the, like right away, he's like quantum entanglement, string yeah. theory. He's like all real. They go, yeah, yeah. He goes, knew it. Yep. And like he's a scientist, you yeah. know. Um, like, how did you get me here? Magic, magic's real. So magic's real here. Uh, the grandma uh, is like, there's, like, can you get that cobweb layer up there? <laughs> yeah, out of the corner over there. And okay, he's here. He's like, I just, I'm, I'm, I'm here. I'm here to help. And then it's time, like, let's try again. Yeah. And we got to find Peter this time. We got to find him this time. <laughs> Do it again. Show me Peter Parker. This one. <sighs> Toby's here. Oh, man. He Old steps man through. Toby. He steps through. Like, oh, man, regular clothes. It's just, some ra- it's just some random dude. <laughs> just give it up for both of them. Both of them are now here in the room meeting Ned and MJ. And for us, the payoff yeah. is here. It's you, like they did it. Not only did they do it, but now these guys are in the movie. Yeah, and like they, they're here. And Toby says it. You know, Spider. You know, Peter too <laughs> says like, I feel like your guy needs so much help yeah. right now. We're here for a reason. And they say, okay. And Toby says, is there a place that he would go to be like by himself? Yeah. Like these guys like know each other. Yeah, it's like that feeling yeah. of like knowing yourself a little bit. Oh yeah, it's, oh for me it was the top of the Empire State Building. For me, it's for me Sears, it was the top of the Sears, Chrysler Building. Chrysler Building, that's yeah. a great view. It's a yeah. great view. Um, and they decide right away, let's go find them. Where's the spot? It's the rooftop from earlier in the movie where they were hanging yeah. out. And he's broken. Oh yeah, breaking and down. This was. I mean, I felt this man. Like his friends, MJ, Ned, they just crowd him. They yep. hug him, and it's a it's a group hug, and it's like just silent no words aunt may's gone they know it he doesn't have long to grieve because he senses these yeah. guys right away they're up top just these spider-man jumping around yeah. looking better than it's ever looked before yeah. and toby still in his street clothes and we get a couple kind of like tag teams a speech here essentially like saying like he's like don't tell me you understand 
and he's like, there are to- Andrew says that you, I, we, I understand more than you realize. Like he doesn't even say this. Like he right. lost his uncle Ben. Yeah. He because tell- and we know. We know. Yeah. And we know. Yeah. And he's like, I lost Gwen, my right. MJ, and Toby tells his story about yeah. the night that Uncle Ben died. Ben, yeah. And then they all find out about great power or great responsibility at the same time. Yeah. And then it's, why don't the three of us team up and see if we can change these guys' fate? Because as they say, man, that's what we do. We're yeah. Spider Man. Yeah. Like, oh, you know, we wish we could have done that for these guys before. Andy, what were you thinking with these Dude. two just hanging out with Tom Holland? Like from from the moment of Aunt May's death until that moment there was like the biggest roller coaster, emotional roller coaster like theater experience that has happened since Endgame for sure. Yeah. That was so I mean, I can't believe they they just did us like that. Yes. Just dirty. I loved it. <laughs> I loved it. Man, it was so good. What about you, Scotty? Man, it's uh like he said, a, a roller coaster. They beat you down. To the point where you're you're focused on Aunt May's death. Yes. And then just immediately they give you hope. Yeah. With like, here's what you guys came for. Two more Spider Man. And not only are you getting them, but now it's time to get into the lab. Yeah. <clears throat> and we're getting we're, doing... we're getting all the Peters working together. Yeah. We're gonna make uh cures for all these guys. And we're going to get some Peter and Peter action. We get Ned talking with uh, Tobey Maguire saying, did you have a best friend? Yeah. He died in my arms. He died in my arms after he tried to kill me. Yeah. And Ned just sitting there and like looking around right. and like awkwardly using the computer. Um, Tom, you know, still kind of going through his thing. Peter won. And Andrew, he's got the lab coat on. Yeah. He's like, I've already cured Dr. Yeah, Connors I, once. I'll take Connors. I'll, I've already cured him before. So I've already done not that. Not a big deal. And uh, Toby, I guess, is like, I'm, I guess I'm a scientist a little bit now. Right. Uh, it's a stretch. Yeah. yeah. But he said he had been thinking about it for a while. Right. So I was like, okay, I guess maybe. And we don't know anything about his life. And man, we're going to talk about all of this. I mean, yeah. I, you know, he was working with Osborne. Yeah. And he was like, you know, an, so it, he was yes. capable. And he went to like the Otto Octavius like show yeah. of the sun and <laughs> and was like, you know, I'm interested in learn, like meeting these people. Right. Be, I'm, I'm brilliant, but lazy. Brilliant, I could probably do this. Brilliant, but lazy. <laughs> Um, great. I loved all three of these guys together. There's so much that happens in the lab and the banter back and forth. Uh, Ned saying Peter, Peter, and, then, and this, huh? Oh, oh, oh sorry. Not, oh, no, sorry. Like, no, like, Peter Parker's like, oh, what? Spider Man? Still, still oh, us? What? Still yeah. us? Unreal. Um, yeah, Andrew Garfield calls Toby a, you know, a cool youth pastor. He's like, yeah. you gonna wear that in the you're battle? Gonna wear, you're gonna fight in that? Um, but he's got the suit on underneath. Yeah. And boom, right away, man. They're all the Statue of Liberty. Tom, Peter gets on. Uh. Joe J Jonah Jameson dot net like live on the show taunts him with the the curse box. We got all the cures. We got all three Spider Man, and we have a discussion about web shooters and how Toby doesn't have them, doesn't have them, and just makes it right. And they are just having this conversation, this biggest payoff of these things that like I no one else was talking around when I was a kid, but I yeah. was the one watching these movies. Like so, he shoots it out of his wrist, right? This, and then the web cartridges. Okay, so everybody yeah. else has web cartridges. Yep. These guys have the same questions. Does it come out of anywhere else? <laughs> Does it come out of anywhere else was the best. He goes, nope, just the wrists. <laughs> and Andrew's like, yeah, I'm just, uh, I gotta, you know, I gotta make this stuff in a lab. It's like a big pain. And yeah, you don't have to do that. And he's like, no, I, I don't. Um, you know, it popped each other's backs. You had the part where Toby is like basically telling Andrew, you know, Peter too, like, you're awesome. Yeah, you're, you're amazing. You're amazing. You're amazing. He's like, because he's like, what's this lame talk? Why are you? He's like, what's this head talk where you're yeah. calling yourself lame? And kind of pumps him up in the movie. Yeah, he's like, oh, uh, I fought an alien that was made out of black goo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then Tom comes back. He's like, yeah, I fought an alien too in space. And in space. Yeah. And, Peter, and he's like, I'm still. Andrew's like, you. He's like, I don't, yeah, I don't want to be lame. I want to fight like, an oh, alien. I've never fought an yeah. alien. I fought a rhino. I, yeah, yeah, I fought, I fought a, rhino a, rhino, the a guy in a, a rhino. Russian rhino suit. <laughs> Um, it felt all right. It felt like a little. It was definitely like some fan. That was fan service. Yeah, for sure. Like that was like for those fans, you know, for like people that are like, yeah, Andrew's always been. Good. Yeah, Andrew's my favorite. Yes. Yeah. Um, and it's time. It's time. All the people show up. Electro shows up first. Sandman's back. The lizard. Um, that's it for now. And they're at the Statue of Liberty, the new Statue of Liberty with the Captain America shield. The yep. scaffolding is still all around yeah. it, so they're not done. 
and the fight sequence commences. The Peters try to fight. Doesn't go well at first. They all agree. Yeah. We've never done this before. Stepping on each other's toes. They're cutting each other off with the webs and stuff. They're trying to throw stuff to each other. It's not working. And uh, Peter says, you know, we got to fight like a team. And he's like, all right, I didn't want to brag. But I was an Avenger. Yeah, I was on the Avengers. I was on the Avengers. Yeah. And they're like, oh, cool. That's great. What is that? Yeah. <laughs> is that a band? Is were that you a, in a band? Were you in a band? Um, he's like, how is this helpful? He's like, no, trust your Peter Tingle, your Spidey sense. Let's go out there. They're going to focus on one at a time. And they one by one, they start knocking this thing out. Yeah. Also, who shows up in the middle of the fight against Electro, who's kind of getting the best of everybody? Doc Ock. Yeah. Comes back. Looks like he's bad guy. Yeah. His chips fried again. No, they're going to nope. give you this full redemption story. This yeah. guy's here. He takes the Electro thing off. He's done. He's good. Um, Toby gets Flint Marco up in the top of the Statue of Liberty, uses the anti-fusion whatever. Whatever. Heals him. Yeah. Connors gets the gas put in his mouth by Tom Holland. Heals him. He's good. Electro's good. Uh, Doc Ock, obviously, is already good. I guess he's just going to always have his metal arms. Yeah. So he's just back to being a good version of himself. Right. <laughs> um. And Doctor Strange now has made it back. We get Ned, you know, using more portals. Can't can't close the portal. Can't close the portal. Opens up another one. Doctor Strange comes through. Just says like it's time to go. Uh, but then sees that Peter has achieved his mission of healing yeah. these go these, almost everyone. Almost everyone. Yeah. When we say almost everyone, who are we missing? Green Goblin. Green Goblin. Gobby. There he is. Um, right before he real the fight really goes down. Um, Strange is there and. The curse, I guess, is expanding, and it's getting harder to contain. And oh no, right? He he shows up. Uh, Goblin shows up. Yes, steals the the box. Steals the box out. Yes, they get it back. Yep, it's got a pumpkin bomb in immediately, it immediately, and that's what blows it. Yeah, to expand. Yeah, breaks and, the breaks the original spell out. Yep, and yeah, the spell that he contained is yeah. now busted loose, and it hits the sky, and it's like multiverse. It's, it's ripping. There's it's ripping, ripping and tearing everywhere. There's purple like behind. It's like it looks like bodies, um, and uh, the shield falls off the yeah Statue of Liberty, falls all the way down, knocks off the scaffolding, falls next to the river. Um, everybody starts falling. The spider people start catching some people, but Ned gets caught by the cape. The cape. Amazing. And he's just flying that cape down. Yeah. And w- when he lands, he's just like, it's just the joy on his face. Thanks. <laughs> yes. <laughs> hey, thanks, Mr. Cape. And uh, MJ. MJ falls along falls. with everybody. Yeah. Tom jumps through and he's going through and he's just about to get her. Scooped up. Scooped up by the glider. Yeah. Who else sees this? Andrew Garfield yeah. does it. He knows what's happening. He knows what's happening. He jumps through the debris, goes down. Catches MJ, Boom, saves MJ, has his full on redemption. Redemption, moment. yeah. Tears in his eyes. Oh, tears She's in like, my eyes. Yeah. Tears She's in my like, eyes. Yeah. Like this is it. I mean, we didn't even talk about it, but like whenever they get their shit together mm-hmm. before that big stuff goes down, and they jump off the side and they're swinging all three. Oh, teamwork! Of them. I was. I'm getting the chills right now. Yeah. Like it was everything you wanted and more. And they've been teasing now, right? Like Green Goblin killed May. Mm-hmm. Well, he wants to kill him. Oh, oh yeah, kill him. Oh, and, yeah. like he's constantly 100%. being reminded, like in the lab and whatnot. Like we got to heal everybody. Well, this is it. The big payoff. The shields on the ground. Who's on it? But Tom's Peter Man, uh, Peter Parker, and uh, Norman Goblin. Goblin. Yeah. And this is the big fight. This is it. Hand to hand. Yep. Like really, no weapons. Just full on brutal fight. Hard punches. We didn't even talk about when he punched him back at the building over and over and yeah. over and over, and he's just smiling. <laughs> Up. Oh man, he's effed up. He is up. so good. He is I wish so good. Like, so well, good. like we need like just a whole. Just keep it going. Yeah. yeah. How do we see more of that? Yes, exactly. Not very likely, but would be really cool. I mean, and to get this, like, kind of like the pinnacle fight of like this defining moment, you know, of like, will he get the revenge he wants? He picks up the glider, he gets him down the ground. He's gonna stab him. Toby stops him. Yeah. Swings in. Swings in. He's holding it and. It's a hard look back and forth between these two Peters and Tom. Finally, you know, it's all it takes is to kind of come down and say, I'm not going to kill this guy. Yeah. Toby gets stabbed, stabbed by Norman. Stabbed in the back. Andrew throws the antidote. Tom gets it, shoves it in his neck. It works. And immediately he's like, what did I do? What did I do? <laughs> I was like, 
oh no just, <laughs> yeah you're like god you're, you're like just, just hated guy. this guy like, 30 seconds ago you're like just go get out of here um okay so they're done they did they did it they healed everybody all of them now are healed the spider-man are okay toby's like i've been stabbed before yeah this is no big deal yeah and so spider-man goes back to the top of the statue of liberty where dr strange is just trying to contain this thing there's no way to solve this there's no way to change the spell there's nothing that strange can do on his own apparently but peter has the idea of all right they're all here for peter parker right who is first of all yeah we've, you, we've got some silhouettes in we got the, some uh, silhouettes i think it's okay like we've already you know we've said spoiler for the film obviously i mean if you if you were <laughs> if you're still listening right <laughs> you're like Shit. sorry we didn't mean to spoil this <laughs> <laughs> um you know why you're here you looked. You found an article that actually addressed this. There's, yeah. So the ones that I saw in the theater, if you look up, you can see the silhouettes of these multiversal beings. Yeah. They're they're, they're coming in. People that know Peter Parker is Spider Man are coming. First up, I saw him, Craven the Hunter. Craven the Hunter. Aaron Taylor Johnston. That's who it's going to be. That's confirmed who it's be. casting. Yep. We saw the Rhino. Rhino. Classic Rhino. And then there were more that there were I, more. But did you, um, now, what did you guys see? Did you guys see any? I did not see those. Okay, who did you see in the you article? Know, in the article, we got Black Cat, um, and the Superior Spider Man. I don't know if you guys know anything about Superior Spider Man. No, it sounds awesome. There is uh, there is a point in the comic books where there is some Freaky Friday stuff, and uh, uh, Peter Parker gets mind swapped with Otto Octavius. And Otto Octavius is Spider-Man for quite a while. Oh my gosh! The Superior Spider-Man. Oh my gosh! Yeah, and that's who. Well, that's who it was like that. This is a comicbook.com article, I think. It yeah, was, it, that was confirmed. Like they like yeah. knew these characters were up there. Who else? I don't remember. That, is, that, that is, you know, do you need? Well, there was else? only a couple more. There yeah, there was like, only like oh, two. There uh, were six. Scorpion. Scorpion. Yeah. Who who is already in the MCU? Uh, Mac Gargan. Who's Scorpion? I don't Squ- even know. Guy, he wears a big scorpion costume. Oh, duh! From the cartoon, he's, right, he's got yeah. these literally a scorpion. But um, he was in the Spi- he was in Spider Man Homecoming. Um, he was a bad guy. He was in the prison. He was and in he the met, prison. He, he was the on vulture. the he was on the boat. Yeah. I do believe. Yes, he was. Yeah. Yep. You're right. And he had the little scorpion tattoo. Yeah. Uh, okay. And um, he was in Into the Spider Verse. Scorpion. Uh, scorpion. Yes. Yeah. Oh man, I can't wait for that sequel. Whew. Um, okay, so these are the beings that are up in here. They're like coming through. Yeah. They're here to come get this Peter Parker. So what does Peter say? He says, what if everybody not only forgets that I'm Spider Man? What if everybody just re- forgets Peter who Peter Parker is? They just um, Peter Parker doesn't a, exist. Doesn't exist. And it, it you can't pick and choose. It's everybody or nobody. Yeah. And he says, but would it work? Strange says yes. Yeah, probably. He says, all right, go ahead and do it. I'll go say my goodbyes. Yeah. He start Doctor Strange starts spinning it up. He's like, oh, you got it's gonna take me a minute. Yep. He goes down, talks to the Peters. He's trying to like put into words. He's like, I just want you guys to and Toby just says, Hey, that's what we do. Yep. And they hug. And I'm crying again. Yep. And it's just like, okay, here they are right, they're 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 good. They're hanging out on the side. And you get the big uh goodbye scene essentially with uh MJ and Ned yeah. of like, you guys will not remember me and I promise I'll come find you. And yeah. Very emotional. A lot of tears on all sides. MJ saying, I don't want this. Like this, is there some other way? There's right. not. Um, and she's like, if you don't come find me, I'll figure it out again. Like I did the first time. Yep. Wow. The spell is cast. It goes out. The walls close up. The multiverse is closed up. And Tom swings off into the sunset, uh, to and we'll see where he lands. But the spell is cast, and there, there it is. It's you know, it, the day is saved. How do you yep. think he got home from there? Just you think he took a boat, or <laughs> he can't swing? No, I mean, from... Peter you know, Parker, a, as per Spider Man one, one or, or two, 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 just two. swing out into the. Yeah, no, they they did they did a good nothing. job. They did a good job because they at least showed just a little bit of the crane. Yeah. So he's like, he <laughs> yeah. hits the, I was like, okay, he went to the crane. He <laughs> he swings off. Sure. And well, I think the next thing we get is he's at, he's walking. Well, he's at Aunt May's <sighs> funeral. Yeah, uh, grave. Oh yeah, at the uh, 
tombstone. It flashes to that. Yeah. It's like, okay, we're going right from this action. Everybody yeah. disappears, right? They all go back. You see Toby go back. Andrew, all the all the villains are healed now. Yeah. They're sent back. Turns into a little silhouette of light. A little and light. They, you and can, they yeah. fade away. Yeah, they fade away. It's like it's all worked. Um, they wanted to make it very clear that they were not blipped. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It wasn't a, yeah, they didn't get dusted. Um, epic. Just yeah. the most epic action sequence, I mean, I've ever seen in a, I mean, Avengers Endgame, obviously, you yeah. just, that's the pinnacle. I feel like this was right, it was right there. On a smaller level, it was there. And it was, but it was three Spider-Men. Yeah, yeah. Like three Spider-Men and five villains. And all, mate, all the ones we've been seeing our whole lives. Yeah. So is that Aunt May's grave? Who's there? Happy. Happy. Doesn't know him. No idea. The, how, do, how, do you know, how did you know May? Through Sp- Spider-Man. Through Spider-Man. Me too. Yep, me too. Like, does he remember dating her? Surely. That's, that's one of the issues I've got. Oh, we're going to talk about it. Yeah. That's going to be like the last part of this is like what happened. Um, okay, so then that's fine. And he says, like, I think that everybody that she helped will help people go on. Mm-hmm. All right, now it's time to... Go tell Ned and MJ the truth. He's got he's got his own apartment. Well, yeah, that's at the very end. Oh, is that that? I thought yeah, that was because what the, he uh... does first is he goes to the coffee shop. Oh yeah, and he swings in, and somebody swings sees him, in, and yeah. no, 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 that, that, that was that was at the yeah but, the very but, beginning but of the movie. At the, but at the end, it, he does come in. He's walking down he's walking the street. In, he's got his cards. Yeah, and he's, he's like, like ready I'm Peter Parker. To... I'm gonna go in there. I'm gonna tell him. Like I'm gonna break it down. They're gonna be like, oh yeah, and Ned's in there. He has coffee. He's got it. He got into MIT. Yep, they're talking and about they're it. They're talking about it. MJ's there. She got an MIT. She got a Band-Aid on her head from the battle. Mm-hmm. And Peter says, like, you know, hey, I'm Peter Parker. Ah, can I just get a coffee? Yeah, can I get some coffee? <laughs> she gets him the coffee. She talks to Ned. And she, he said, oh, you got an M- MIT. And she said, yeah, I'm, I'm not usually excited about stuff, but I am. And I don't know, something just feels something different. About, yeah, disappointment. And he was like, oh, so you're not disappointed. You always expect disappointment. Yeah, she's like, I'm actually looking forward to this. Yeah. And then he notices the Band-Aid again. and Yeah, are you okay? Oh, yeah, I don't even really remember what happened. And he decides in a moment, and I'm crying again. Yeah, because he knows, like, only only problems can come of people knowing I'm Spider-Man. Everyone's been telling him this since day one. Yeah. It's been the problem since the first, for, since ever. Yeah. He didn't want to go Always. to Germany because he had homework. Yeah. And in Homecoming, he was... Constantly convincing Nick Fury to, or that was far from home to yeah. change his route to do whatever, and trying to make the field tr- like it's always this battle of the Peter Parker and the Spider Man. I mean, yeah. this is tales all this time, but like this is the pinnacle of that. And he chooses to leave his friends in the past, and he gets his own apartment. He gets that shitty little apartment, yeah, just like the just like the Toby yeah. movies. And Same landlord, probably, yeah, probably. I, I hope so. God, God, I, God, I was God. waiting. You pay rent. You pay the rent now. <laughs> Pay the rent when you fix this damn door. Yeah, <laughs> that's good. That was him being bad. <laughs> yeah, and he has his box of stuff, like one box of stuff, you know. But he looks at apartment and he and he smiles. Yeah. Nighttime comes. He's got the police scanner on. Sewing machine out. Yeah, you see little bits of fabric, like oh, and I mean, I've been working pretty on pretty close to that poster right there. But man, the red. The red the blue, and the blue. A new old suit. Yeah. Fabric. Right. On his own. He is Spider Man. He's Spider Man. And so he good. swings, he slides, he goes through the city. He's on the ice, same ice as Hawkeye. Yeah. And tree. Tree looked like it was up, so either they put it back or right. well, I mean this Oh, this is way before. This is gonna be like two years before. Like right? two years before. Are he swings sure? through How about that. Yes, we are. Okay, we'll talk well, about. We we see in the while he's swinging, uh-huh. we see signs for Rogers the musical. Oh yeah, okay. So interesting. So it's like I think it is the same time frame. We're gonna talk about it. May, yeah, maybe this cool. isn't directly after. Maybe the little time has gone by. He's yeah, but because 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 he's like it's at snowing home. and yeah. it's Christmas, right? That's interesting. So he swings, he's Spider Man, and he's on his own, and uh, the credits roll. Credits roll. I'll get that. I mean, wow. 
Talk about emotional roller coasters. Yeah. Emotional, like so many electric feels. So like tears fill my eyes half the time. Uh, let's talk about the end credit scenes. What we get? Okay, first one. Brock. Is. Oh, yeah. Sony's got Eddie Brock. Eddie Brock. Tom Hardy. Been from still a, in con- Mexico. Continued from the end credit scene we saw in Venom, Let There Be Carnage. Yeah. At the end credit scene, there was a, a, a multiversal bartender, yeah. shift. Something happened. They saw Tom Holland on the screen. They're in Mexico. They're like somewhere on vacation. Yeah. Somewhere tropical. And Assuming. then this one picks up right where it lives off, where he's in this universe. Yeah. He's talking to the bartender. Just trying to get a breakdown. And like, getting the whole breakdown So there's of, just superheroes everywhere so there's super here? super people everywhere. And this purple alien, he wanted, he wanted rocks. He wanted yeah, stones. He was looking for rocks. I know aliens don't like rocks. They like eating brains. Yeah. And Venom's there. Shut up, Betty. Yeah. yeah. You're drunk. Yeah. And before, he's like, all right, I'm going to go talk to this Spider-Man guy. Yeah, maybe we should go talk to this Spider-Man guy. Stands up. Something's happening. And... Boom! Boom! He's the he, gone. He's lit up like the other yeah. guys. They've sent him back. He just had his own little vacation in our universe. Yeah. What do you think of that? Beautiful. That's you called it. You said in credit scene. You guys I know s- who I that f- bartender is? Yeah, he was in a uh, Ted, Ted Lasso. Love it. Football is life. Yep, I love that guy. Yeah, he's great. Pretty cool though. Yeah. I mean, he's here. I mean, yeah. Bring, what he was in the movie? Though? Like, what, just just write write the venom. And the storyline, what do you what do you say happens? I mean, I think that, well, first of all, we left a big part out. A little bit of Venom got left on the bar. Yeah, just a little symbiote. So little I, symbiote I think splash. that I guess it's going to play a role like in our universe. Oh, and yeah. Like, and so, it, maybe it'll bring him back maybe or something. You know, I kind of think that they're going to keep him separate. Yeah, they might. They, I have a you weird know, they, feeling that you're right. They sent him back to his own universe. They sent every, yeah, right. And I think this is the the birth of black suit Superman or a Spider-Man. Yeah. In our universe. In our universe. Like we'll, we'll finally get it. And I think we're going to get more of a stretched out story. Yeah. With the symbiote and Spider-Man. Yeah. Cause it's, it's fair to say that he was obviously there because of the hive mind that we talked about or whatever. And then he knew, he knew who Peter Parker was, but obviously Eddie Brock didn't. But so does the, obviously this little, Symbiote, like, is it going to remember Peter Parker? Like, my instinct yeah. at first was like, it's yeah. it's just going to go straight. This to, thing has got to know who to Peter him, Parker is. Go straight or, to him; it's all it knows. Yeah, but maybe that's why he always shows up around Spider Man. We don't, is. we don't have a a Spider Man who's been out of high school. He's got his own apartment now. Yeah, he's going to have to get a job. Yeah, maybe there's another Eddie Brock here. Yeah, maybe so. And maybe the symbiote tries to find this universe's Eddie Brock because it knows. I can work with Eddie Brock. Yeah, maybe so. He's like, I've already been yeah. on one, Eddie. And then we also have uh, Scorpion, Matt Gargan. He is a huge part of Venom. Mm. He is he has had the the symbiote suit in the comic books for a long time. Interesting. A psychopath. Okay. Of a person. Okay. So maybe a story for another day. Yeah. And and, we'll, I mean, obviously a story for another day. We're gonna see something. Um, lately in the comics, uh. Venom is um, Flash Thompson. Oh, really? Yeah. That's cool. There's another so, variation. Wow. At least you can yeah. picture that guy becoming something. No. And obviously they're planting seeds with like Ned and stuff too. Ned, yeah. Um, okay. That's well, that's the one. He's back. You're right. Venom's back in Sony Town. Yeah. And then the last one was basically just the trailer for Doctor Strange and the multiverse in the multiverse the of madness. Multiverse of madness. Madness is correct. Something has gone terribly awry. Something went so wrong to where like the universe is crushing on itself. The city was falling apart. You get a glimpse of uh what's the what's Rachel McAdams name in the story? Jeez. No, we know no, it. I don't know. Yeah, we do. Uh I just watched it. Stacy. Doctor she was doc she was a doctor. Um Rachel McAdams. Denise or I got nothing. I can't think I'm of it. Totally but blind. she's in it again. She's back. Yeah. She's got you know, her back. They're like floating through the multiverse. And then, I mean, the big reveal. Oh, we get uh, the, like the, one of the guys from the original Dr. Strange movie, the guy that was like the number two to the ancient one that mm. ended up going bad yes. by the end. He's back with like long hair. It's been a while. Yeah. You know, you're going to get a lot of Wong. He's like tied up, like something's gone wrong. Christine Palmer. 
Christine. So Christine. Palmer. Christine. <laughs> Christine. Come yeah. on, Christine. And the big reveal here. Oh, man. Oh, we see Wanda. Oh, of course. It opens yeah. with Wanda. I need your help. Yeah. And it's not about Westview, mm -hmm. which happened in Wanda. Right. I need your help with something else. It's got like the darker beard from the, I feel like that was like a tie to the Just for Men they found <laughs> yeah, in the, the movie. Yeah, the little goatee like yes. stencil. Yes, it's great. Um, Dark, strange, dark, strange, supreme. Supreme, yeah. The one that we met, presumably, and what if, in live action. Tying it all together. Saying, things just got out of hand. Yeah. <laughs> very, very sinister looking. Looks awesome. Yeah. What do you think? Do you think my first instinct is like we were talking about how he looks, how he looks different and things are off like at the beginning of this movie. Maybe we'll find out why in this movie or is this just going to be like straight up continuation right after? I think it's just continuation. No I think it's continuation yeah. and that they like there is they might like they'll do what they do and everything now. They just give you enough to know. Yeah. But like all of us will know. Yeah. like Oh, I've seen the episode. Right. Like. What is going on? Like something has went terribly wrong, obviously. Well, from, with the spells, it's the spells and like whatever happened in Spider Man, whatever happened in Loki and WandaVision. WandaVision, you got all these things going down where it's like, okay, things are breaking. Which brings us back to Kingpin and Daredevil. Like, were they really here before? Right. Or did something happen? To yeah, bring think, these guys in at some point. Yeah. I think it's all you know, CBD. Did I something mean, happen? Was Loki before this? Was Loki during this? Did was something Loki, go down where the did multiverse Did something go, go down where the multiverse had started and nobody really knew? Yeah. And Are thing, all these guys scrolls? Secret invasion. And then you get <laughs> secret invasion. What is happening? Oh, man. <laughs> yeah. There's so, there's way more questions than yeah. answers at this point. And then that's the, they've done the right the job. You're like We're no yeah. longer looking for like the next big bad. We're more just like. Oh, what in the world are these guys yeah. doing? What is happening? <laughs> yeah. Um, speak, why, speak, why was Ant-Man in Rogers the Musical? Speaking of uh, what is happening, just a few questions. We got to talk about some of this. Oh, yeah. We got fan mail. We got fan mail. So I feel like we got to get to it. But like, I just got to, I got to like uh, just address the big elephant in the room is that like, what happened to everybody that like doesn't know who Peter Parker is? Like everybody, the people on earth. Everyone. Yeah, okay. That's big enough, right? Like happy, <laughs> like doesn't remember parts of his life now. Okay. All right. I guess. Clearly there are weeks worth of videos of J. Jonah Jameson saying Peter Parker is Spider-Man. Right. That's what I said to Carrie. I go, does all the, does all the footage disappear? Yeah, does MJ sure. look at her phone and be like. Who the hell are these naked pictures of this random guy <laughs> on my phone? Who's this high guy on my phone? Why do I follow this rando on Instagram? I have all these emails. Yeah, from him. that's a good point. All right, so that's fine. All so, right, th then they did it so that the multiverse would close. So like all those like Craven the Hunter and all those things, right? They don't know Peter Parker anymore. That was the whole point. Yeah. Right? Right. Okay. I would think so. All right. I guess. Is it just our Peter? First of all. Do people forget the other Peters? Right. And more so, I, I'm less concerned about that. Maybe it's just like it's our Peter. People forgot our Peter. Right. Did okay. Toby go back and MJ and, not and that, forget MJ, and not remember who who he is? Exactly. I think it's a fair enough question to ask. Yeah. And the second thing is, are those, like, are we, and maybe they don't want us to even be asking this, but I feel like you got to if you open the store, is like, did you change those movies? Yeah. And did you, like, or did you start sent, like new strings? You just started new strings that could right. maybe be a movie one day. We just sent five villains back to the moment that they were going to be killed by Spider Man. So, like, right. first of all, the, the Spider Men were there. Right. So, but, like, years but later. Obviously, it was years later. But, so, they're going to go back to Spider Men who don't know that they were cured. Yeah. And they'll be like, huh. well, they'll know certain ones, like the lizard. They'll be like, oh, he's already cured. Yeah. And then, like, Otto is, like, good again, so he'll be like, I won't do it. Yeah. It's, oh, my machine, it fell in the river. It's and, okay. And Norman will be like, Norman might still die. Oh, yeah. Because he's got the glider coming in. Yeah, he's right. be like, hey, w when you get back, you're going to want to, like, duck. duck or jump Just really high. <laughs> yeah, right, like Spider-Man does. Yeah. Um. So, you know, it's a lot of questions come around, like, what did you just do? Yeah. <laughs> and I don't know if you guys have, heard the same things but there's a lot of 
fervor around Andrew Garfield now. Oh, of course. I mean, yeah, like all people this were like, oh, maybe we didn't know what we had in Andrew Garfield's Spider Man, and they're talking about. Amazing Spider-Man three, and now that well, and they're talking about Spider-Man four too. A Toby that started this right. last week, of course. I mean that this was all like this has had to be what Sony definitely wanted. To oh happen. yeah, they had their hopes and prayers on this, and they're fueling that internet rage. Like because I mean I've I, I get on Twitter, you know, and I'm one of these people that I mean you guys we talked about them on the on this show. Like I I didn't love those films that much. No, and like just comparatively speaking, and like relative to the other films, they're just not towards the top of my list. All right. When you ask me though, do you want to see this Spider Man come back? Yes. Yeah. Duh. Why, why wouldn't I? Are, like, of do course I, I do. Do like, I wh- want to wh- see Tobey hey. Maguire in Spider Man Four? Yeah. And why? Yeah. Why do you think I think that? Uh, maybe it's because I just saw them in a movie. Yeah, and it was a great movie. No one told us we were getting Spider Man two point five and two point five. Right. Three point five. Three point five. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And we have ten Batmans right now, so why can't we have ten Spider Man? And I think that's what they're yeah. getting to. Is like whatever. Let's just do it. Right. And we, we, we had that, uh, that moment with Electro and Andrew Garfield's Spider-Man where Electro said, you know, oh, you're from the Bronx, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. I thought Queens. you might be black. I thought you, you're poor. I thought you, you know? Were, yep. It's like, oh, well, there's probably a black Spider-Man out there somewhere. So that's the little Miles Morales. That's Miles Morales. It's coming. Yeah. Seeds. All right. Planting how about seeds? Let's just do this. We'll do uh. We'll do ratings and we'll hear our fans. Let's do it. Scotty, hit, hit us first. Man, this was... This this met my expectations. Like, and they were so high mm-hmm. going in. And it hit every point. I got stuff that I wanted. Stuff that I didn't know I wanted. So many surprises. So many things. Like, are they really going to do that? And they did it. 3.8. It's a fair share, my friend. Giggler, you're up. 3.9. Oh, hmm. Had it. One up. Man. I had it written down already. I promise. I spitballed. Honestly, mine. like it has, has has everything. Like the the expectations were so high, and like how much they over they delivered, and how much I enjoyed it, and still want to keep seeing it. There was so much fan service, yet like the story was so good, and like yep. it just just hit me in the feels, like the from top to bottom. And like, like I said earlier with the daredevil thing, like barely even remember that happened by the end. I could just like, I, I think I watched a, a video like the next day and I was like, Oh my God, I forgot he's even in it. Right. So it's just, there's just so much that went on and so how it's going to affect so much in the future. Like I'm so pumped. Like I, Spider-Man like jumped up to like one of my top favorites. Like he was in the middle there, but now I'm, I'm reading like, random spider-man comics that i was not really that interested in like weeks ago so they did their job with me but wow hell yeah man fair yeah. share way to go um yeah if the, you know this this character if you weren't a fan or if you were kind of a fan you're probably a much bigger fan oh, after yeah. seeing the film no I'm, matter who your spider-man was exactly like this movie was for you this movie was for you and this yeah. is for the people that love spider-man i agree delivered over delivered got me asking more questions and as vast as this MCU is becoming, like that's what it's all about for me and uh, making it less predictable and more open ended. And I just feel like taking it to the cosmic multiverse level and seeing that sky break open in this movie is like, that's what I'm going for. Yeah. And I want to see like where that goes. And Multiverse of Madness will be a payoff that I think this movie was just kind of starting to show you. Oh, yeah. You know, it's just barely doing it. Yeah. But this was a spider. This was just man. Spider-Man. This was Spider-Man. A 3.85. Oh, man. Everybody, price is right in me over here. <laughs> Coming that's, in. Hey, and that's, uh, that's how it goes, though. Yeah. All right, Spider-Man No Way Home. We obviously loved it. Man, we just talked about it. Uh, this is probably the longest review we've ever done. Oh, yeah. Um, and I knew, I knew it was going to be that way, because when, when, you, when you have something you love, you end up talking about it a lot more. And uh, it, there, that was no question here. I could keep going. I have more notes. Go ahead. Remember the... Uh, <laughs> Was the Doctor Strange what if moment that you can you say it again? Yeah, sure. So that was whenever Doctor Strange astro planes Peter out of the body, then his Spider Man body is keeping the box from him, and it's his spider sense. Yeah, is how, taking over, is taking over. Think. Yeah, or maybe and this theory. Yes, Do you want to C- say? Can it? you remind the name again? I yeah. So in what if in the Doctor Strange episode, 
when he's trying to go back and save Christine over and over and it won't work, he learns from the ancient one that there are these things called absolute points. An absolute point in time. And we may maybe talked about it in Loki, I feel Cannot like. Cannot yes. be changed. Can't be changed. This is something that's so vital to all existence that you this can't change. This happens everywhere always every time and that was the thing that he couldn't change mm. okay so in this the theory is that without spider-man going on that journey to become his ultimate spider-man and lose aunt may and all the things that transpired that this was like one of those things that even with magic involved the theory was a red it was like a reddit post yeah i think yes couldn't couldn't be changed couldn't be changed no matter what and that was like additionally like i think it was like a combination maybe a both like it's a cool theory it could be either or it could be both it could be, I love, or it could be neither i love yeah. the speculation that's the kind of shit that... i felt like you could see the spider sense so it's hard for me to back off that but i could pair that with something with yours where it's like because dr strange was really confused he was like you should not be able to do that yeah like even him knowing that spider-man is spider-man he's like you shouldn't be able to do that i was waiting for him to say like oh well you missed in the background in the clouds you could see the watcher's bald head like oh my over. gosh <laughs> i'd be like oh what that's what you got to start looking for is the watcher. <laughs> like now that we've seen it in what if. Right. That'd be right. wild. That was good. And what else you got in your notes? Um, I mean, let's see. Does like where do we where does Daredevil go from here? Like, yeah, where are we gonna see yeah. her next? It's just weird that she's he introduced and then he's gonna not even remember who Peter Parker was. So it's like he basically right. just made a cameo in this and then and how do we like yeah. Just, at, at the end of this right. movie, like, why what do if, I have this unpaid bill? What if Spider Man? Some random what guy. Was I yesterday? Yeah. What if Spider Man <laughs> shows up and goes has a conversation with the Avengers? Can't he? so they don't know who Peter, Peter Parker is, but, but they know Spider Man. So like they know who Spider Man in their head. Is. They work with the Spider Man. Is Spider Man just like a guy that doesn't talk ever, and they just like he can talk, but he I can talk, but yeah. they don't. Do you know, know who I'm saying? He is. That's the part that bothered me the most. I think I'm telling you. Yeah, it's like my it was my first question. Like, but, how does this work with everybody that knows yeah. him? It'll be addressed. I yes, guess, but and yeah, like eventually, and, yeah, and like and like who knows where it's all going to lead because it's going to be a lot of like things jumping around so fast that like these things we're worried about, I don't think we'll be worried about because like it's going to be like multiverse of madness, <laughs> and then God. beyond. Jesus. The question is, does any of this get addressed in Morbius? Any of it? Yeah, any of it because no, this is the hey. Spider Verse. This movie. Was supposed to come out in 2020. That's insane. Mid 2020, they started filming Spider Man after this movie was supposed to come out. And it just got delayed again. And it got so delayed that they completely filmed Spider Man No Way Home. Yeah. And released it before this movie came out. Oh my God. And now it's and here we are again. And we know of we know all the threads that we've seen in the trailers of Morbius. Yeah, it's got everything. It's got the Spider Man Raimi on the wall. You got the yeah. Vulture from uh, that we saw in from the Homecoming MCU, from the Spider -Man. MCU. We got uh, the Daily Bugle newspaper. Um, we got we, a mention of Venom. A mention a, of a, Venom. A straight up mention. Yeah. What is going on? What's going on? All right, man. We've talked about this a lot. We want to hear from some other folks. And Let's do it. Scotty, you got some people to call us, I know. Oh, yeah, always. Yeah, man, way to go. And we have two callers to feature to give their thoughts on the film. We're going to let these reviews play out and let us all take a break, drink some water. Enjoy this one at 754-CALL-LOG. That's our studio phone. This one comes at us from Victoria. Yes. Hi, guys. This is Victoria. Uh, I was just calling in to leave a review for the new Spider-Man No Way Home movie. Um, it was amazing. My husband and I really enjoyed the movie. We had a great theater experience. We had a pretty full theater, so the crowd experience and reactions were really great, and we had a great energy. Um, I don't think we had an experience like this since we saw Endgame, so it was a really great, great way to return to the theaters. Um, so I'll start by saying I don't know much outside of the MCU, so my review is going to be strictly from a movie fan point of view. Um, one of the things I love about Tom Holland's Spider-Man is that they've really honed in on his personal struggle of just wanting to be a kid and be with his friends and have the response and having to have like that responsibility of being a superhero. Um, this film does a really great job of continuing to show his struggle with that and eventually him having to make the really powerful and mature 
decision to give up on everything and everyone that he loves so much. Um, I think it's both beautiful and really sad uh, to see him make such a tremendous sacrifice. And I'm really excited to see where they go with Tom's version of Spider-Man in the future. Of course, <laughs> I have to mention the fact that not only do we get to see our other Spideys on the big screen with Tom Holland, but that they get to have some sort of small redemption in this movie as well. Um, Toby's Peter Parker gets to help Tom's Peter Parker realize that killing the Green Goblin isn't the answer for him and that getting that revenge won't make him feel better or bring his Aunt May back. Um, in the same respect, we see Andrew's Peter um, really still struggling with the trauma and aftermath of losing Gwen, and he gets the chance to save MJ and has that really powerful emotional release in what almost feels like a second chance for him. Um, one of the things I love the most about this movie was the really honest emotional portrayals. I think it's beautiful and humbling to see the guys on the big screen crying and supporting each other and just really doing their characters justice. Um, I think it was a lot of fun. We had a great experience, and I love all the references and nods to the Spider-Man movies. It was a great time. Uh, hope you guys <laughs> enjoyed my review, uh, and thanks for your podcast. We love it. All right. Bye, guys. Victoria. <laughs> Round of applause. Nice. Solid. Fair share. Great thoughts. A lot of stuff echoed that we talked about here, and I think uh, you guys had a good time, and uh, really appreciate you calling in, back yeah. to Victoria. Had some good thoughts there, and uh sounds like you guys enjoyed the movie. We have one more to share. You want to say a special hello to Victoria? Yeah. Love you, Tori. Just like that. Tori? Yep. Tori. Oh, Tori. So it's yeah. like a little nickname. You you guys got some close friends listening to the show. I That's appreciate right. you guys. Uh, we, well, you got one more. We want to play uh, another review of the movie. Spider-Man No Way Home. This one comes at us from Dustin. Let's hear from him. Hey, Logan. My name is Dustin. Phone number is 314-606. <laughs> I'm going to talk about the new Spider-Man No Way Home. But before I, wanna get, uh, before I get into it, I want to shout out the main man, Scotty Scoop. What a Scoop. great guy he is. Whoop. Really, my wife and I just saw the movie. And I just want to just talk about how great it was. Uh, it was really cool to see all the Spider-Mans coming together like that. And uh, something I really liked about the movie is kind of how they're still keeping on with Tom Holland Spider-Man's character development. You know, with the, the first movie, I mean, you know, he's still a kid. You know, he's still learning to to be a hero, right? Like all the other superheroes kind of just started out great, right? Like, I mean, look at Captain America. He came out of that that experiment and he was perfect right like there wasn't anything really more he needed to do to be a hero he was a hero when he came out of that and spider-man is just completely different you know and then the first movie his mentor was tony stark you know and of course after tony received his um untimely end uh spider-man was kind of lost you know he felt like he couldn't do it anymore without tony's guidance and he tried giving up but you know he, he really came together in, in the second movie and realized that he, he does still need to do it. And uh, what I really liked in the third movie is that they kept that theme, but it wasn't Tony teaching him anymore like it was in the first and second movie. Instead, it was himself. You know, Spider-Man was teaching Spider-Man how to be Spider-Man. I thought that was a really cool idea with the theme, and I really liked that on the character. I mean, I really love the show. Um, hope to uh listen to you guys again and i'll catch you next time thanks awesome dustin that's pretty spot on yeah that's pretty good it was it was like he was being spider-man that's what i was saying about like when he was like that was cool when you made me astroplane don't do that again. Yeah, don't like, do that again. Like it's like that's like like the, serious. That's like get your hand off me. I'm you know yeah. become like he's just slowly learning how to be his own hero. Totally mm -hmm. love that. You want to give a special shout out to Dustin? Dustin, you're my boy. Dust not dust. No, Dusty. 
Dustin, Victoria, we appreciate you guys, and we always want to feature our fan reviews. That's 754-CALL-LOG, 754-225-5564, and that is the meat, of course, the MCU, man. Look at this year. We're going to talk about it here in a minute on coming up, what is coming up in 2022. But just to briefly reflect, 2021, look at that. MCU, man. WandaVision, Falcon, Loki, Falcon Winter Soldier, Loki, Black Widow, What If, Shang-Chi, Eternals, Hawkeye, and Spider-Man. That was one year. I can't believe it. And we did them all. Not not only was it one year, but it was a pandemic year. A pandemic year. And we're getting like, this. This is what we got. Those were all the Marvel films we got and sh TV shows. Uh, big thanks to Digital Spy helped with that list. But man, that was a great time. I think we did a great job in 21. I hope you guys enjoyed those reviews. And again, you can check all those out at MostlySuperheroes.com forward slash MCU. Let's talk about what's coming up. That's season two, pretty much. Put a bow on it. And we are going to put a bow on it. We're going to talk about it here in a minute. you got pretty much one more episode, a bonus episode. We'll talk about it in just a second. 2022 is here. Season three is here. And like most people out there, you might have a New Year's resolution. Um, I look at years as just a way to look back. And I said it earlier in the show, uh, do more of what is going well and less of what isn't. And try to grow and try to be... Uh, a little bit better and a little bit more as we go through life and on mostly superheroes it is exactly the same we want to keep evolving it's always been about who we are to never be stuck in our ways too much and with that we're coming in with our new year's resolutions we have three goals for the year that we're going to try to do to bring a little bit more life and to enhance your experience as a viewer and a, a listener out there one i want to bring more music into the show it. From more from featuring local artists, from talking to local venues, to uh, even playing more music in between like segments and stuff, bringing more music into our lives. Music is a way to celebrate life. And we want to do it on the show whenever we can. Two, we want to have more events. We want to do stuff in real life. We know it's a pandemic, so we'll always make sure we're doing stuff safely. Um, but we want to see it. And that's, that could even mean virtual events. You know, we've done live, live watch parties, stuff like that, but we want to do more mostly superheroes type events to meet you guys, IRL, as you nerds out there call it. And lastly, we want to give back. We're going to try to partner with maybe some charities, organizations to do some fun stuff, talk about movies, things that really make more money than any of us will see in our lifetime. And so maybe if we can talk about some of this stuff, we can put some money towards some good causes. So how are we doing this? Now, you put it on a website, you make it real. We got new pages on the website, mostlysuperheroes.com. You got forward slash events, forward slash music, forward slash give. And at all these pages, you can kind of see what we're doing right now is mostly an exploratory look. We're looking for those charities. We're looking for bands and artists and venues that want to be featured. You go to mostlysuperheroes.com, find your page. You could write us in, submit your info, and we could start a dialogue to maybe get you involved and featured on the show. How's that sound to you guys? I love it. Yeah. In? Yeah. Let's let's give a music event. Music event. Do a concert. A music <laughs> For event. Charity. For charity. For charity. The Mostly Superheroes Ball. Yes. Maybe. We'll see. Mostly Superheroes the Musical. Um, <laughs> well, there is one thing that we're already going to have right away, folks, and it's an event, and it's coming up here on February 25th. We know there's a lot happening out the world, and we'll keep you apprised if anything changes. But as of right now, February 25th, 7 p.m. here in St. Louis, Missouri, at Well Spent brewing company calling all super smash brothers tournament fans if you play super smash brothers ultimate on switch yep it's you st louis we're talking to you right now come drink some beer doors open at seven tournament starts at eight it's a friday night february 25th you got kids get a sitter unless you like bringing your kids to breweries then bring your kids i don't really know if it's a kid type event it's a brewery but you're gonna be playing video games so might want to bring your babysitter to the brewery so you can play Super Smash Brothers. Andy, I think you're a pro. Oh, I'm not a pro, but I I have the game. Oh, you have no. the game? I do not have the game. You have a Switch. I, I have a Switch. I'm going to get the game. My boy Cecil, he's going to give me some training. There I haven't go. played Smash Brothers since the original. Oh, man. Well, this is it, all right? This is going to be for fun, but also for competition. Three grand prizes, well-spent brewing, and us are partnering up. They're bringing the beer. They're bringing the venue. They're setting up the rules. And we're going to be posting this on our website. You can find it on our events page and the uh, also a Facebook event 
for well spent and ourselves. So you can go RSVP either on Facebook or at mostly superheroes.com. Get ready to play some Super Smash Brothers Ultimate at a brewery on a Friday night. Yeah, I was just there on New Year's Eve. You were just there? Oh, yeah. Man, I was just there on New Year's Eve. It was so nice outside. We, you know, the little grassy area they got outside? Yes. We played Can Jam. Hell yes. yes. Yeah. Oh, we love Can Jam. Can it's a really Jam. cool place. A I lot of fun, place. and she's uh, Laura. We've been working with the, one of the managers over there. She's got the rules for this thing. Apparently, her and the crew know this game, and so if you guys want to see what the rules are, and you're familiar with Super Smash Brothers tournament, it's probably gonna be similar to what you've seen. But three grand prizes, mostly superheroes will be there. We'll probably be doing live show. We'll probably be recording, interviewing contestants, doing uh, some video, and bringing you to the brewery. But we want to see you in real life. February February twenty fifth, twenty twenty two. Mark your calendars. I can't wait. Yep. Going to be a time. Super, super good time. Speaking of good times, wrapping up season two, we are going to round this thing out with a nice number 50. And it's going to be our best of 2021, ep- 2021 episode. 10 titles that we broke down this year. A jam-packed two-hour episode of our all of our reviews going through WandaVision, Loki, Falcon and Winter Soldier, What If, Eternal, Shang-Chi, The Suicide Squad, Justice League, Hawkeye, and Spider-Man No Way Home. Get ready. This is the episode where I want you, listener, this is where I'm going to ask you for something for the first time in your whole life. This is the one you share with your friends. you got a friend that says, I've been wanting to maybe get into a podcast that talks about TV and film, mainly superhero stuff. Episode 50, season two, the best of 2021 is that episode. It's a great highlight reel of everything we've done. We're super proud of the year we had. And this episode is our way to celebrate season two and to get us ready for 2022. Speaking of 2022, Phase 4 of the MCU is here. Morbius may not be technically the MCU, but I put it on the calendar no matter what. There's a connection somewhere. Multiverse of Madness, Thor Love and Thunder, Wanda, I'm sorry, Wakanda Forever, Miss Marvel, She-Hulk, Moon Knight, The Guardians of the Galaxy, The Holiday Special. These are all happening in 2022 Marvel MCU this year. Also happening, DC Universe is expanding. Will it deliver? We will see The Batman shazam black adam the flash aquaman 2 peacemaker on right now sandman titan season four and doom patrol season four star wars boba fett's on right now you can watch boba fett on disney plus we'll be doing reviews of that on the show other titles that could potentially be coming this year some of these do fall into the rumor category Andor, obi-wan kenobi the bad batch the mandalorian a droid story acolyte and ahsoka Ahsoka. Other big titles to keep in mind. John Wick 4, Top Gun Maverick, Jurassic Park Dominion, Mission Impossible 7. Are you guys never, ready? Never ends. Look, this is all this year. It just keeps going. And big thanks to Wired, Cinema Blend, IGN, and Digital Spy. But guys, this is the year. We have a new page on our website called 2022, and you need to go check it out. We got all of our slides here images of all the movies that we're gonna be talking about mark your calendars it's gonna be a fun year agreed i can't wait anything to add you guys good excited you're gonna be here for all of it man i'm here for everything all right new episodes on monday sunday on patreon don't forget about the new merch at our store a bonfire check out that merch store and listen wherever you get podcasts watch us on youtube and facebook this was season 249 and i just got to say merry christmas to you guys this would typically be our christmas special i did get you gifts Open that door, Scott. Oh, and you have what? A, you have a gift right here behind your tissues, Andy. Oh, wow! It's right there in the tube. Oh, nice. I'm just gonna tell it for the listeners. Get it out of the way. Go ahead, Scotty. What'd you What'd you get? It's a gingerbread Scarlet Witch. A pop, pop, yeah, cool. Funko pop, Funko I, pop. I have about fifty of these in my office at work. Do you have that one? I do not. Gingerbread Wandavision. And what'd you get, Andy? Spider Man Into the Spider Verse. Poster. Mo- movie poster. Nice. Beautiful. Merry Christmas, guys. Thanks. Appreciate you guys. Feel and, the love. Uh, appreciate you guys coming over here every week and talking about superhero stuff and movies. And uh, can't wait to do it with you the rest of the year. Oh, yeah. We appreciate you. Andy, give us a sign off and uh, final thoughts for the well, squad. Days like today is reasons why I live because this movie was amazing and talking about it with you guys has been an absolute pleasure. And mm-hmm. uh, I honestly can't wait to listen to this again. So hopefully everyone else agrees. and. Loves the movie as much as we did, and or not, I don't know. But I, I, I loved it. It's a great st- way to start the year, that's for sure. Well, cheers to you, dude. Fair share, Scotty Scoop. Sign off for the for the squad here. Spider Man No Way Home, second best Spider Man movie of all time. 
two, two. Into the Spider Verse is the best. That's Spider-Man your best. Movie the movie? Did I yes. did I mix up the gifts? No, 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 trade? no, 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 no. <laughs> That's your favorite. Still, then no, 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 no. that is the best. It's. The, I'm not gonna say it's my favorite. That's weird. It is the best <laughs> Spider Man movie. All right, two different things. Two different things. That's say I like it. So you're ready for this Into the Spider Verse two? We're gonna oh, talk man. about that as well. Yeah. We'll, get, we'll do Into the Spider Verse on this show. Uh, you guys, I appreciate you, uh, Mike, Adam. We appreciate you, Carrie. Give us a, a big shout out to the creator of our brand, Queen, uh, out here doing it. Queen. Um, we got a small, mighty team here. And we're uh, excited to grow with you guys all in 2022 and beyond. So thanks for listening. Thanks for subscribing. And we'll see you next time on Mostly Superheroes. Take it easy.